why, if you notice, our attendance is over 100 people. So there's uh, <laughs> nearly 400 registered. But it's interesting what cash does to move you along to behave a little differently. And we're going to learn about three words uh, in the next couple hours, actually the day. Uh, we're going to learn about the word commitment. We're going to learn really like, are you committed or interested? And we're going to learn about jumping into a de very decision-based life. And most people live very indecisive. So they have a very odd talk track. Of, um, I got to think about it. Well, what's odd is you can't think about what you don't know about besides just circling the same non-information or incorrect information in your head. Uh, when you say I'm too busy, well, we have the same clock. So how are users? How do you use 24-7 versus what I do? Randy does, Scott does, Jason does, our team you're going to meet. Uh, we're just more productive than busy. Like we don't use the word I'm really busy. When people say, oh, well, so busy. No, I'm not. I'm extremely productive and efficient. So we're going to teach you some distinctions. And I want you to write that word down because distinctions will make you very wealthy. If you just follow the sheep and the normal herd, as you've just saw through the pandemic, interesting, not helpful. I use that word a lot. Interesting, not helpful. So before we do that, though, I'm going to have Christy come live. And the first person, we have seven people we picked. We're going to give the first person $100. And then the other six are going to get $50. And they're going to come as Amazon Visa gift cards. So you can use them however you want. And uh, Steve, you're going to email Steve when your name is called. And so, Christy, if you want to kind of go down and help facilitate this. So who's number one? Who gets the $100? Our number one is Yvette Galt. All right, Yvette. So make sure, uh, Steve, if you want to put your uh, email in the chat, you're going to email Steve. You're not going to call him right now. He's producing the show with us. So you're going to email Steve at ASKIWS.com. They'll connect with you and make sure of that, that you get your $100. And then number two? Tammy McLean. All right, so Tammy, same thing, email Steve, so go ahead and put that in the chat, and you're going to get $50, and number three? That's Mira Osborne. All right, number four? Athena Taylor. Number five? Iris Kavanagh. And number six? Mick Manley. Awesome, and then number seven? Jaden Marshall. Perfect. So uh, you never know throughout the day. I'm kind of feeling like it. So we might give some more away. Um, so just uh, you got to be present to win, obviously. So uh, congratulations to all of you. That one is seven. And uh, again, Yvette, get your hundred. The rest of you will get a $50 Visa Amazon gift card. Cash, essentially. It's a faster, easier way to deliver it to you. So uh, great that you are all here. Again, excited that there are so many of you here. And here's how we want you thinking about it. If you truly are here to make money, and a lot of you said yes. Now, I want to correct some learning. So it tells me how, and I'm just going to say it, financially illiterate some of you are. So income and assets are two different things. So when we say you're here to make money, it's because you're going to sell a product or a service. You're going to sell us some glasses. You're going to sell us some CBD. I'm going to sell you coaching. I'm going to sell you books. Randy's going to sell you an app. Jason's going to sell you insurance. Scott's going to sell you a corporate structure. None of those things are available until you join further into the community. This is basically our free event uh, that does education only. We're not giving advice, although collectively we should add it up one day because there's me and 28 financial experts. So I got to say there's thousands of hours of experience that you get. And what's different is we're integrated. We talk with each other. We talk about you. We talk about your situation. Every one of you are very, very different. Um, there's kind of a pattern to what we do but everybody has a distinct sequence of how you get there faster. Because sequencing means do the right thing at the right time to speed up your millionaire path, which is why we can promise a three to five year plan. So with that, um, again, we're education only. Um, we're, it sounds like advice sometimes because we're just so experienced. How about that? All right, so let's jump to the next slide. What you are here to learn today about income and assets is income is fast cash. That's money, that's products and services you sell. One of you said, can I make money if I don't have assets? Well, those are two different things. First of all, you have to make income, make money, so you can pay your monthly bills, right? So we'll go that, through that like in a moment, right? That's your P&L, that's your monthly statement. Assets is like what you own, liability is what you owe, your, your net worth is the balance of that. So assets minus liabilities, your net worth. So when we say millionaires, we're talking net worth millionaires, not, oh, I made a million dollars in my company, I spent 900 and I'm worth 100. 
That's not what we're talking about. So yes, your assets can make income, cash flow, passive income, whatever you want to call that. And again, I'm teaching in very generic terms intentionally, so you all get it. If I taught in high finance terms, it's funny, my son graduated with a finance and accounting bachelor's. He'll graduate actually in 10 days with a uh, master's in accounting. And he's like, mom, you don't even use financial, like the formal theory language. I said, people don't understand this. They don't need to understand a P&L and a balance sheet, much less income. So yes, assets can produce passive income. That's not what we're talking about today. This is not an investment course. You have to come all the way to the big table to learn how the education of investing happens. And that's just the structure, the legal structure that we put the organization together. This is about making money. This is fast cash. I'm going to sell you coaching. I'm going to sell you a report. I'm going to sell you a website. I'm going to sell you a video, a photography, whatever the heck you all got to sell. So now you got to start thinking, well, what do you all sell? So do not disconnect if you don't have anything to sell. We have a whole team. We have a whole day plan. We have usually about a third of the room who doesn't know what to sell. Your employees, you've never really been an entrepreneur. So you're going to freak out. We have options for you. We have simple options for you to help you make some money today. So the way today goes is we're going to talk for about two hours about becoming a millionaire, the context, how it works. We're going to talk about what I call the engine of your business, which is your database. And we're going to talk about living corporate life. And then we're going to switch gears to only your business. So we're going to focus on your funnel, your prices, your offer. What could you sell somebody today? So don't disconnect. Say, we don't have anything. It's going to take me like months to figure this out. No, it's not. This isn't a build it and they will come course. That is BS. It doesn't work. Build it, I guarantee they won't come, is what we're going to talk about. you got to get out here. And the way everyone markets today is this lovely thing called the social media internet. I call the internet the bathroom wall because it's a permanent graffiti site. Anyone can write anything about you. People have wrote lovely things about me. I would say the good, the bad, and the interesting. And uh, most of the people who wrote anything negative were just didn't want to do the work, so they want to complain about something. That's all they ever do in their life, though, uh, because we have too much success over 20-plus years. I've been doing this since 1996 when I jumped out of a job at Chevron to be the cash flow distributor for Robert Kiyosaki, the Red Ford, Ed Brand, Sharon Lecter, to then jump again into my own life. So 1999 became a real estate millionaire, followed right away by a gas and oil millionaire. And then I left all that to start Live Out Loud, which now is named Integrated Wealth Systems because Live Out Loud is overused and it's hard to SEO on it. So that's just who we are, what we do, what we do, what we teach. Our ultimate goal for all of you today is to get you to make some money because that's what all of you need to do. I don't even care if you're a multimillionaire. You always want to make extra cash. You always want to have extra cash flow and have an ability as you mature, to turn it on and turn it off. You can go away for a couple months, you still make money, you turn it back on, make more money. So I want you to be able to be, have command of your cash versus saying, oh my gosh, I need money, I gotta go to a job. See, our team wouldn't even, it wouldn't occur to us to get a job. We're so unemployable and that's everyone. Like my entire team, I have zero employees besides me and my two children. Everyone has a company, their company works with my company, and we're very entrepreneurial. It's a very different model that uh, I frankly made up, and it works way better and sustainable for the families in their lives. So our goal is to have you own nothing, control everything. So Rockefeller family did it the best. So um, we're going to get to living corporate life where the, your, your companies own everything. You own nothing. So I, Laura Langmar, don't even own a phone. I don't own a vehicle. I don't own hardly any jewelry, believe it or not. Uh, my company does because it requires me as a wardrobe to wear it. So I have a brand. I have a branded look and a branded wardrobe. So with that, I'm going to turn it back to you, Randy. And then, Jason, I always know you like to tell the Rockefeller and Vanderbilt story. So, Randy, what else would you say about own nothing, control everything? You've heard it before. Actually, how many of you say yes in the chat if you've heard that saying before? Now we're going to teach you how to live it. Big difference if you have not learned how to live it. Everyone wealthy owns nothing controls it all randy yeah i'm just i was i was kind of mesmerized at the the chat right there that's a lot of yeses so you've heard of it so what is it what does right. it mean well and, and jason will give you an example in a second um the 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 reality of it is and i'm going to do the randy tate simplification process right here if you own entities like an llc that are owned by a trust the trust and the entities can act as they, they are the owners 
of the things and the stuff, the cars, the houses, all of that. And you control the entities and you control the trust. And unless you were in some kind of funny or evocable thing, that's a different world. You can talk to Scott. But in general, it, that is what it means. It means you control. Now, why would you want to do that? First of all, one, this is how you create generational wealth. That's number one, because now you don't have any kind of an end of life probate, redo, start over situation. It just carries on, just keeps going. So that's number one. That's one reason why you would want to have this set up. Number two, you can protect your assets. You can protect the stuff that the trust and the entities own. You can protect them because if someone's going to sue Randy Tate or Laurel Langmeyer, well, you know, you might get the 10 grand in my bank account. Um, but that's, that's more my company. Yeah, my companies own everything. And they're not even mingled. So you might sue company A, but company B, C, D, and E own other pieces. And it's real important for you to understand that. And Jason has the best example. I was actually, yeah. I used it yesterday um, uh, with the person I was on the phone with that I'm like, I know this guy who gives this example every time. And it's a perfect example between the Rockefellers um, and Vanderbilt, right? Vanderbilt. Yeah, you got that right. The... I guess the Rockefellers are the most well-known family. However, let's be clear. There's huge families. There's there's families that you know about that have done this. And really, we want to put a side-by-side -side comparison between uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt, which when he passed away, he passed on to his sons more than what was in the U.S. Treasury at the time. It was a huge, huge inheritance. Yet they did not pass on through entities and didn't have it set up right and didn't have the right family culture, right kind of education. Three generations later, in other words, the great grandchildren, when they got together for a family reunion at Vanderbilt University, believe it or not, what uh, Cornelius had started, there was not a single millionaire in the group, not one. On the other hand, what Rockefeller has done, what they do, and how they go about it using entities, using insurance, using proper passing of education and culture. It's going on from generation to generation. And each generation becomes more wealthy on a guaranteed basis. I mean, they it, it's going to happen. And parenthetically, I wanted to tell you just uh, real quick, Laurel, I had the opportunity, I was introduced to a DuPont the other day. Um, and oh, wow. The the DuPont family uh, first came in 1800, and he has about 4,000 cousins, and that's a massive, massive wealth there, and it has continued to pass on. And I simply kind of asked him, well, you're doing it kind of like the Rockefellers. He said, no, they do it like us. <laughs> Because they've been around longer. Anyway, it was kind of cool. It's it's not only the Rockefeller, but this is a well said, and yeah. it's really what's got to happen. Well, and I think a lot of people sometimes hear this and they'll think, well, this is Laurel's method or Laurel Randy, like the team's method. This is the method. And I, what I've done different, because I'm a farm girl from Nebraska, so if I can do it, you can do it. None of us, I don't think any of us came from any background of money. Did you, Scott, Jason? I, I, like none of us. So we all figured this out and made it up. So I just started studying why so few people become millionaires. And when you really study, like Jason said, there are there's a lot of families who do it. But when you look at the pattern, the sequence of what they did, that's what we're going to share with you today. So it's not like a it's not like a secret no one's talking about. It's just not integrated. You'll hear a little piece here. Like everybody thinks Bill Gates, they think Microsoft. Well, that's great. But do you know what else Bill Gates owns and what he controls in the world? I mean, it's enormous. So when you make a lot of money, you have to do what? Well, first of all, you better mitigate your taxes, which is what Scott and I will be talking about in a moment, about living corporate life. And then you have to learn to invest. Now, you can park your money and pray with the financial planner that they're going to do it all right and hope to God. But most of them, honestly, they're going to put you in the stock market. And they're going to get paid a lot of commission and a lot of fees. They're going to sell you the wrong insurance, not what Jason's going to sell you. And now you have a whole other fee. All right, so they're going to get these, they're going to commission, that's fabulous for them. Did that really help you and your family? No, now you parked your money, prayed to God it's going to work, and most of you have lost fortunes in the last three years 
because of what's happening with the market. So we want to educate you how to invest your money. You choose. you If you're really going to own generational wealth, right? How many of you, even though you probably, and I actually know this, I'm not going to make an assumption, I'd say 90% of you, you like the idea of generational wealth, but you have darn near zero idea about how to really do it. Is that true? Say yes, if that's true for you. Like it's a grand idea to have generational wealth, but you actually don't know what the hell you're doing. So that, that's what we know, and that's why we built the company the way that we did. Most, some of you have little pieces of the puzzle. You know, I always say, if you think about a wealth plan, it's like a Rubik's Cube that has to be put together properly. And most of you have the Rubik's Cube pieces. It's just all in little squares laying on the floor, and you don't have the playbook. But guess what? We do. And we did it intentionally because that's all I think most of us experts do. We live and breathe this stuff because we love it. Uh, so let's go to the next slide. Let's talk about the first word of the day, which is committed. Are you committed or are you interested? Randy, you set this up well. Um, the only thing I'm going to say about what I know about commitment, it is at all costs. Like I'm in projects right now that at all costs, we will win. We just will. We are going to win in this game of whatever it is. And a lot of you, you'll run into a wall or a failure. We don't even use the word failure. Right? We just get bumped around a little bit. You're going to run to a new wall. You're going to turn another direction. Right? Those walls are just you know, guardrails to help you stay on track. And our mentoring and coaching is going to help you stay on track. But committed is at all costs. It's a way of living. Okay? Uh, Randy? I'll yeah, let committed. Go. And committed's hard. I mean, who are you going to kid? There's no magic wand. you got to be committed to a process. You know, I, I was actually thinking about this with, um, <laughs> with respect to like Mike Tyson. You know, yeah. people were interested in fighting Mike Tyson and they had a plan and they went into the plan and then their plan changed drastically when they got hit in the face. I said, oh, that's not such a good idea. I don't like that. And I just want you to acknowledge that that is part of the process. You're, you, there is no skipping through the tulips, Laura waving a magic wand and poof, you're a millionaire. You got to be committed. You're going to go through some stuff. You're going to do some things wrong. You're going to mess some stuff up. The difference is when you surround yourself with a bunch of people that have already done it, that have had the same type of mistakes, that have been punched in the face already, they can show you how to be defensive, how to block, how to not get beat up and come out of it on the other side. Interested means oh, this is cute. I like it. It's interesting. I find it fascinating. It's like watching a Discovery Channel show. Right. Interesting. But you're not going to be go become an expert in seals and whales. Here you're going to become an expert in creating generational wealth through the maximization of tax strategy, through the maximization of structure, through owning nothing, controlling everything and understanding truly how to live the corporate life. Doesn't happen in a minute, but it will happen. And that is if you're committed to that and you're committed to your children's children's children having money and being in a different wealth position. That's what this conversation's about. It's not doesn't make you wrong if you just like, oh, it's too much work. I'm going to keep my job and pay my taxes and I'll give my financial plan or money and I'll let them put that money in mutual funds and I'll take whatever's left when I'm done. Um, we're not making you wrong. We're just telling you it takes a committed, intense effort to get this done. So you know, Bruce Lee, there's a lot of people would come to Bruce Lee and say, teach me everything you know about martial arts. They want to know what he knew. I mean, he was the absolute pinnacle of the art that he was in. And often he would have someone come in and say, okay, we're going to go out to the dojo. And they'd do a few moves to assess where they were. And then he'd bring them in, sit them down, and he'd have two glasses. He'd put a glass in front of them and one in front of him. And he'd pour a glass of Coke for them, and he'd pour pure water for himself. He said, what you know about the art is represented in that glass. What I know about the art is represented in my glass. You need to be willing to give up what's there in order to get what I have. And that's not, like you said, Randy, it's not making you wrong. It's not, however, you need to be willing to be, accept, be open-minded here. And then also, like you're saying, being committed and following through with this. The system <laughs> is wrong. What are you going to learn today is, is the right way to do it. Yep. Oh, hold on. So uh, thanks slide, Steve. I can't hear. 
Scott or go this way, Steve. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. You there can. you go. We got you. Okay. Yeah, I lost sound of my other mic and people can hear me. So yes, thank you, Randy. So who is this for? Who is it not for? I'm gonna say it's for everybody. And of course, you know, we're a little biased because of, you know, we created the work um, and it's not just me because I initially created it and then everybody added to it. So it just kept adding and adding and, and building. Um, and because times change, economies change. We're in a recession now. We have high interest rates. We have uh, inflation that we've never seen before. And we have a political unrest that is a disaster in the world. Um, don't even get any of us on those conversations. So who is this for all of you? You need to stay current in business and money conversations. And most of you don't know the basics of money. So that's why we base this all in education. Now, do we actually go out and do things? Yeah, that's also what makes us unique. We are probably the biggest doing organization because we're all becoming millionaires in a variety of ways. I'm a millionaire in eight industries right now, eight categories I've hit in my lifetime so far. And my goal is to hit another one this year. Uh, which will be in the cannabis space. So in the uh, medical marijuana and marijuana space, I plan to hit it uh, this year for sure, if not next year, just in that category. And so a lot of you, we want you to hit, to hit your business, like your business probably, whatever that becomes today, working with us, or you already have one, we're gonna help you grow it, uh, maybe totally expand it. Most of your your business is gonna be kind of the fuel that's gonna, that's gonna in, enhance all this. See, the challenge that we have with you just being an employee a lot of challenges actually, but the one around income is you, most of you have a fixed income. So, so you're used to having a fixed income, getting a paycheck. And if you think, well, if I have to make money, I go get another job. No, be an entrepreneur. You have an unlimited upside to the amount of problems you're going to solve. Cause really being a great entrepreneur is solving a hell of a lot of problems. So this event, I think is for all of you. I don't care if you're already multimillionaire. Um, you may, if you're a multimillionaire and already know fast cash and you have a good business structure, you may drop off at the marketplace this afternoon and say, okay, I got the beginning. I got that part. But I can tell you, we have people worth hundreds of millions of dollars here. Why do they come? For deal flow. You say, well, I thought we're, we're not an investment company. We're not, but we're going to teach you. And can you imagine the thousands and thousands of people here at the big table learning, participating together? And- bringing projects to each other. Now, I don't put the projects together. You'll never invest with Laurel, Randy, Jason, Scott, who we've already met. So Scott, just wave your hand down there. He's our corporate and trust expert. So you know who I'm talking about. So us four will be talking to you this morning with you, and then we'll be adding more teammates and they're going to drop off because everybody has a place at the big table and everyone has a place in this team. So who is it not for? Um, I think the, ca the interested, the casual. If you're here just to sign a check it out, that's cool. Um, I would say lean in and learn because uh, you don't have a fear with money. You don't have a mindset problem with money. How could you have a mindset problem with money when you've never learned about money? You have a mindset problem with money when you've made a lot of money, you've lost some money, a lot of money, and now you won't go back in the game. Like that's what I found most effective with Bob Proctor's work. Most of you have this weird, like, oh, I just have a relationship with money issue. No, you have a lack of knowledge issue. So let's put the right word to it. You just don't know. I mean, think of all of the professions in the world and how much they go to school to become a doctor, a lawyer, or whatever. They're not taught to run a company. They're not taught marketing, sales, and cash flow. That's the skill set of a great entrepreneur. You know how to market, which you mean you know how to find the problems and how to solve them. You know how to bring them to a sale and you know how to manage your cash flow. When you know how to do that, you got this game on. So that's, I think it's for everyone. Anything you want to guys want to add or we're just going to jump to the next slide and we'll keep cruising. I think you're spot on. Just, yeah, it is for everyone. So let's just move with that and move forward. So for those of you that are higher end, just be at least through the morning with us. And at any time, you've all been assigned to a strategist. So uh, some of you have Christina as a strategist. She couldn't attend with us today, but she is still your strategist. She's been in this event many times, so she will be available to you. Um, I believe Omar, Jeff, and Laura are here. So you will be assigned to one of them. Uh, some of you might, you know, still be with Terry or Chrissy, uh, and some of you are directly working with me. So uh, we're going to we're gonna weigh in on that in just a moment, but I want to go to a commitment slide. So again, appreciate you being here early, being on time, being committed. How you do anything, this is Randy's favorite saying, how you do anything is how you do everything. So for you guys to have these excuses of, oh, I show up 100% here, but only 10% here. Now, you, you have a pattern of your life. You're, you're always early, you're always late, you do certain things 
things, you know, right. You always put a priority to something, someone. Um, so part of that is shaking up your pattern so you can start seeing where your gaps are and where your blind spots are. So when you attend, that means today from 10 to four, because that's the content part. It's actually, if so after 10 to four, then, you know, actually around three o'clock, we're gonna move you into a marketplace. Mm -hmm. And so we want you to stay at least to see what a marketplace is like. And if I was you, we are at about, let's see right now, 126 people. That means there's 126 leads for you to get. So if I was you and a smart entrepreneur, because that's what I do when I join a call, the first thing I do is I want to know how many people are on the call. And then I want to know how many names, phone numbers, and emails I can get from this call so I can follow up and put them in my database. And some of you say, well, I don't have a database. You're going to get one. We have a huge, huge opportunity for you to understand why you need one. So you're going to attend, number one. You're going to have two strategy sessions. Some of you, many of you have already had one. So you just have to have another one. In the last few weeks, you've already had one. You have another one. And then you had to fill out your student profile, which the majority of you have. So see, put in the link, the student profile for those who haven't filled that out yet. And once you do all this, you lead, you email Terry into the office. You can ask your strategist and we're going to give you this swag bag. This swag bag in our mind is priceless. Why is it priceless? Uh, because the first three things you can't even buy. They're only taught at the table. It's my high ticket sales closing. It is Randy teaching about why and, how, and why and how to do a business plan operationally. And then Martha teaching about entrepreneurial leadership, which is very different than being an employee and a manager. And then you're going to get my library. You're going to get expression of your power, which is now a classic. Bob Proctor and I did that in 2002 on how to express your power and how to live out loud. Uh, and then our real estate program, how I became a millionaire, as well as a field trip ticket. So we haven't had a field trip on the books right now, um, but depending on how several projects go, we may uh, go out and look at real estate. We may come out and look at our cannabis farm. We may uh, just bring in a big business development person to work on your businesses. So we will have field trips. We tend to have them throughout the year. Um, so for just being here and being committed, you're going to get some great stuff. So make sure you take the leadership and earn it. Be here for that swag bag. And uh, for some reason, if you uh, have been here in the past and didn't get it, and you did do all the things, then make sure you email Terry and ask her and she'll make sure she gets that link right out to you. Now, let's meet the team really quick. So again, you have already met Randy, you've met Jason, you've met Scott. Let's meet our three strategists who are going to go through a strategy session. Go to the next slide, Steve. They're going to do what's called a gap analysis. In the first three chapters of the Millionaire Maker book, we talk about a gap. And a gap is where you are. So your baseline is where you are in your life. Your freedom day is what you want. We don't call it retirement because that's not even a, a financial word. And if you notice, then like their jobs to assess where you are, your problems, like what a solution you want. And then they'll talk to you about ideas and, and possibilities with us. So their job is not to coach you. They're not going to advise you. No one's going to tell you what to do. What they're going to do is assess. Where are you? What do you want? And what do you need to do in your income and your assets to gain generational wealth and just be what to become a millionaire? So in our world, we first want you to become a hundred thousandaire, specifically an accredited investor, which means you make over 250 to 350, then become a millionaire, then you plan generational wealth. So those are the layers that we walk you through. So there are uh, senior strategist. So I'm going to introduce Laura first. Laura's been with me for decades. She has helped run companies with me out of uh, Utah. She knows our work very well. And uh, again, their job is to like understand your problem and help you identify in our organization what solutions best for you. Some of you is staying fast cash for $399. Some of you be acceleration coaching or get a publishing acceleration and do that for, you know, three to 6,000. Some of you want to come straight to the big table. That's between 20 and 35,000, depending, um, depending, depending on how many people you want to come. You want your whole family. You just want to come. And then we have some stuff in between. So their job is to assess your problem, help you identify what we can help you do to find that solution and move. Now notice we don't have debt on here. Like, Debt is a very interesting thing. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But a lot of you have a very odd relationship, a very wrong relationship with debt. Good debt is the best tool to help you get wealthy that you will ever, ever understand in your life. And most of you want to be debt free. I can guarantee you none of us that you're going to meet are debt free. Like my son is now understanding at 23 years old that our good debt 
right? Which is money that we only pay two or 3% for, but we're making 12, 15% on that arbitrage, that spread. He's going to inherit that good debt. Why would you ever pay off that debt to be debt free? Bad idea. Uh, at some time in your life, you might make that as a strategic decision, but that's weighed in with a lot of experts of why you would do that. So with that, Laura, welcome. Tell them a little bit about your strategy session. Then we'll bring Jeff on and Omar. Great. Thanks, Laurel. And congratulations to all of you for registering and being here today. Laurel talked about commitment. My commitment is to do exactly what she said. I will schedule around 30 or so minutes with you, maybe a couple times. And I'm literally going to talk through you, where you're at, your starting point, what you want, and the line in the middle, which is the obstacles, and what we can do to help you break through those obstacles. I'm pretty passionate about this. Like Laurel said, been doing it with her for a few decades. That's kind of sad to admit. And yet, pretty skilled at what we do for the fact that been leveraging with Laurel for a long time. So I'm super excited to help you. Make sure you get on my calendar. Chrissy works real closely with me. And you can reach out to me via the chat. I'll do everything I can throughout this event to help y'all. Thanks. Back at you, Laurel. Oh, unmute, Laurel. <clears throat> You're muted again. I said, thank you, Laura. And let's talk about Jeff. Uh, excited that you are all here. And uh, we're going to take a poll in just a moment to see how many of you still don't have a, a connection with your strategist. But Jeff, are you out there? Hey, guys. I uh, just want to say thanks for showing up. And that is part of the win, right? Just being here. Next step is being committed. Uh, Laura said it perfect. We're here for you. It's all about you. Uh, I want you guys to understand the level of commitment put into this event for you to be here. Look at all of the, the skills and years of experience that Laurel has put together. So what I would say is take advantage of that and go ahead and get ready to jump. I look forward to being on the call with you. It is about you. We're going to figure out where you are where you want to go. We're going to help you get there. We're going to find the right way to fit into uh, the community and get you to that next level. So uh, make sure you show for your calls, be ready to rock, be focused, you know, have pen and paper in hand, and it's going to be all about you. So look forward to the time. Speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. And is Omar out here? You know, he was uh, gone for part of the week. Is he back? Steve, give me a little feedback. I don't see up. him on right now, but I'll ping him once he gets on. Okay. So, uh, Chrissy, team, Jordan, uh, team in the office, be ready for this poll. Those of you who have not set up even one strategy session or had one, or you don't know whether you have Laura, Jeff, Omar, Christina, like you don't know who your strategist is, if you know, reach back out to them. And... Um, so somebody already has Omar, I can tell. So if you don't know, or you do not have a session, just put the word no in, just one word, just put no. And our team, okay, there you go. I knew that with us happens all the time. So they will be texting, they'll be reaching out. Your job is to respond and get an appointment. So their job is to help you figure out what your problem is really, because in your mind, you think it's debt. Like, I don't know how many people use the excuse. Oh, I have to go get out of debt. I'm too busy right now. I have a job. I'm too busy. Are you kidding? Like we have families that literally, and uh, Scott, you should see this video Ryan cut for us. Uh, Scott and I've been working very close. I think uh, Jason, I actually, all of us. So Ryan and his family, they came as a family, a big family, four of them and their, their wives, kids, everybody, everybody came for generational wealth. And they do make a lot of money but they were paying amazing taxes. Their structure was completely wrong. They didn't have trust. They had got it all set up with our team. They joined our big table. They all joined. Um, but again, the business got getting in the way. Life got in the way. Kids got in the way. Again, excuses, excuses. And the father died three days before document signing was gotten the team. So I can tell you, a lot of you have put this off, like I'll get to it, like it's something to do. What you don't know is your expiration date. And if you do not have this set up, you will give 50% of what you own, 40 to 50, depending on your state, sometimes 60, to the state you live in. So if you're only worth 100,000, guess what? You're just going to hand this right back to the state. That is how much you didn't care about your family. And I teach it with a pretty sharp knife because a lot of you got to wake up and get serious about this. You've just gotten by. And quite frankly, a lot of you, your financial and business experience usually is generation that did come from your family. Like we never talked about money in our family. I brought money in conversations. I bring it. I'm the one that wants generational wealth for me and my children. Now I have two brothers that are coming along. 
find like along you know to the journey, but that is not how we were raised. It is still not a conversation that is widespread in the Langmire family, right? So it's not my job to bring them all along, convince them all to come along. It's my job for me and what I can control with my kids, what we're going to do. So a lot of you, you're putting off a lot of stuff that really you need to move. You need to move and you need to move now and put this as a priority of your life because your family's a priority. So if you say your family's a priority, you make this a priority. So with that, let's go to the next word we're going to talk to you about, which is every successful person has jumped. This video with Steve Harvey is one of the best. We're going to show the video and then we're going to dissect it a little and help you understand what the words committed and jumping mean to all of us. So Steve, let's show the video. Okay, here's the deal. If you want to be successful, here's the thing you have to do. You have to jump. There is no way around it. You have to jump. Every successful person has jumped. You got to jump. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to dash off that cliff and you got to jump out there as far as you can. Now, a lot of times you stand on the cliff of life and you see other people soaring by, gliding down like a bird flying through the air. You know, they're going over to the south of France. You see them on a boat somewhere. You see their family vacationing here, their family vacationing there. You see them dressing like this. You see them in New York, then you see them in London. They flying by. You know why? It's because they parachute open. But the only way to get your parachute to open so you can soar, you got to jump. Now here's the problem. Here's the problem, my friends. When you jump, I can assure you one thing. You listening? I promise you this. Your parachute will not open right away. No, that's the fear part. I promise you your parachute will not open right away. You're gonna hit them sides and them rocks. You're gonna tear your back out on them cliffs. You're gonna, you're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna get wounded. You're gonna get some tears and stuff like that. But eventually, parachute will open and you'll be sold. But here's the other caveat. Let me teach you this right here. If you do not jump, I promise you one thing, your parachute will never open. So you safe, but you will never sold. You got to jump. Love that video. Love that video, because I think it's just, it's pretty explanatory. Right? How many of you really want to jump? And some of you have jumped, but the problem is you jumped without any mentors, guides, uh, wealthy people. Like if you think about, and, and I want you, hopefully you're taking notes on a journal or something next to you. How many of you, like you really have assessed the five people you spend time with? Because most of you spend time with people who are like you, or uh, you're the biggest fish in the pond. Um, if you're the biggest fish in the pond, it's time to jump into the ocean with us. Um, or it's the same people you've been hanging out with forever. And you're the one that's like out here because you want this, you want to move and they don't. So that means they're going to atrophy them away. We're going to become your financial family. And you're going to start talking about these conversations here. Can you imagine the power of, even if you had a hundred, but we have thousands of people that you get to talk to about this conversation, how they're doing and how's Jason doing with he and his, his children, different than Randy, who doesn't have children, different than Scott, right? Who's actually a grandpa by now. I mean, all of us are in very different phases of our life and we have one goal. We want generational wealth. That means we're gonna grow our companies. We're gonna grow and, and we're gonna own nothing. We're gonna have everything held in trust. So we don't go to probate. We're gonna have proper insurance. We're gonna have all the right things. And guess what? This is the only place in the world, and I know it is, that you get to have a team of wealth experts talking together on your behalf, not on their agenda, on your agenda. It is the most unique thing that we've ever put together that I put together and I learned it. I took one out of the Kiyosaki playbook, right? They had, it's a great idea to do the Rich Dad Advisor series, but there were some, you know, there were some flaws in the matrix. So I saw the flaws when I did my own thing, said, we're gonna go and we're gonna do it this way. Now, this is the best way to probably describe it. You know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, having been there for five years, you know, if you've ever played cash flow, how many of you played cash flow? Put yes in the chat. If you have, you now need to buy my Millionaire Maker game, um, which if you want to give some discount code, Steve, you can make that up in the background and uh, we can give you a discount code. It's normally 
uh, I'm sorry, $150. Um, so we'll give the room here, uh, like let's give a 10% discount code. I know that there's one of them out on Shopify already through our store. Um, but when you play cash flow, it's like an advanced version of Monopoly. But here's the problem. After five years, thousands and thousands of game nights, what do people say, right? The same thing they said after they read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. What do I do, right? So I said, well, I'm going to be the how. I want to glue it together. I'm going to put a team together that we make sure that your companies are held in the right trust, that are held with the right insurance, that you actually have your documents done. Because some of you might think they're done right, but really are they right? And how are you confident that it's right if you aren't knowledgeable enough? So the best description for this is on the next slide, which is our big table. So it's like a smorgasbord. It's like a smorgasbord of all of the concepts and all of these content pieces that are business and finance related, right? Notice that team and systems are in the beginning. So most of you, and how many of you would say yes in the chat, that you do too much by yourself, like you're a lone ranger. And, you know, I coined a term years ago that said, you know, there's no self-made millionaires, they're team-made millionaires. It's too much content. It'd be like going into surgery with only, you know, say the surgeon or only a nurse or the uh, anesthesiologist. Like you don't get them all, but you're only going to get one. And a lot of you, you live your financial life like that. So you wonder why it's not working. Well, you don't have the right team in place to even have it work. And you have knowledge because you're busy with the job. So I, we get the, you need to get the pattern and say, I'm done. I'm ready to shift. And I want to change my life with this. Randy, what else would you say about the smorgasbord of the big table that you're going to lead. That is our goal for you is to teach you how do you lead this? Yeah, you know, the my two cents on this, Laurel, is that it, it, is, it is imperative that people understand that it is their responsibility to lead it. It's also their responsibility to ask for help. Get the people that are experts in the spaces with them. People that will tell you, okay, maybe you're a little out of tune. You know, we have a tendency to want to chase the shiny, sexy things first. We want to go start becoming real estate moguls before we have an entity. And we can't, it's just not how it works. So you want to make sure that you're asking the team the questions. You're participating in the things that you need to be participating at the time you need to participate. Let me say that again. The sequence in which you choose to do this stuff matters. And this whole community, make money, keep money, invest money in that order. You can't invest money if you have none. And if you're given all the money you do get to the government or somewhere else, then you still have none. So you got to make it, keep it, invest it, and then start putting it to work. Put your teams together. You notice teams and systems is the biggest thing there. Because it's, guess what? The most important. So um that that's my two cents on a laurel it's just important and also you have to realize you don't have to eat it all at once yep i, I want to emphasize here what laurel said which kind of glazed over a little bit is that you could do this outside of this community and find people in these different seats however they don't talk to each other there's something that i could do when you come to talk to me about insurance that may not be the best when thinking from Scott's point of view and an entity point of view and vice versa or an accountant's point of view, what's unique here is you have absolute experts in their individual lanes, their individual fields that talk to each other, that agree on some fundamentals and have the ability to cop back and forth. You could go into, you know, be sitting in front of Scott and you have a question. So, you know what, I'm going to ask Jason, right? Or vice versa. You do not find that elsewhere. And that's one of the big perks for me in this community is they people talk back and forth. Yeah. Well, and like even me, like I don't do a deal just with myself. I mean, Scott's, you know, all three of these guys, I mean, constant call, like, what do you think about the storage project? What do you think about that project? What do you think about that project? So I'm here for the same reason you are, is not only to coach and mentor our guide, but as our clients become millionaires and multimillionaires, they have great projects. So why wouldn't I become an investor in their project, right? They might be invested in one of my projects, uh, but it's not Laurel's project. It's the company. Like I, you're never going to invest with a human. If you are out there and investing with a human or doing a loan to a human, like a one-to-one, -one, like a Scott to Laurel, a Randy to Laurel, that'll never happen here. We have company to company relationships, which is how you own nothing and control it all. 
You control it because you own the company and you run the company. And uh, as you grow up, we're going to teach you more and more sophisticated strategies. Right now, we just have to get what I call the basics right. So go to the next slide. We do have these good, awesome NFTs. So Steve, if you want to put the NFT link in, we still have some of our, uh, what I call our courageous, royal, and noble lions available. Our majestics are sold out. Um, so I always want to showcase our NFT lines because I think they're beautiful, um, made by some amazing uh, African women uh, to help feed their families. Um, we struggle. Of course we struggle. The difference is we live committed so we don't quit. Like quitting is not an option. Like it's not even in our psychology or value set or culture set of quitting. You don't quit. And if it's you decide to stop something, stopping something is different. Choosing to take a different direction is different. Quitting is goes with the whole uh, narrative and psychology of failing and not being good enough and all that negative uh, rhetoric. There are people who are the most successful entrepreneurs who they're not quitting something. They have decided very strategically with a team around them that it's not maybe the best financial option or they don't have the best management team. It's a decisive life. It's very committed and it's very on point. And do you guys want to add to that? I think yeah. it's so critical that you understand the difference between this committed, jumping, decided life than a quitting, failing, I'm not worth it life. Like it, that's not a mindset. That's a choice. It's a decision you make right now today to say, I am worth it and I'm going for it. And a lot of people, you know, on the internet, they'll say, oh, Laurel's cocky. All she does talk about money. Well, uh, yes, my expertise is all I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about my person. What's interesting is not helpful to you. What helpful to you is teaching you about money, which is my gift that I know. You know, Randy. the lion's the perfect symbol for it, Laurel, because lions don't quit. You know, the, the big majestic lion sneaks up on the zebra, it takes off running, he's at full throttle, and he trips over a log, falls, gets all dirty, and he's in a big giant pile. All the other lions are sitting there laughing at him. He didn't go sulk and whine and cry. He gets up, dusts himself off, and takes a new strategy. Maybe he goes after an antelope instead of a zebra. The, the idea is that you can't get caught up in the emotion of, oh, what's what's everybody going to think? And my family doesn't want me to do this. I can't can't be an entrepreneur. I need to keep my job. You have to recognize first, it's going you are going to struggle at points. All of us do. Every person on this call has struggled, right? And from that perspective, knowing that Having people around you, your pride, have them around you, stay on course, readjust, dust yourself off, and get back in the game. And that's the only way you'll get to success. All those overnight millionaires you read about, and they, they took about 10 years. You know, your overnight millionaires, they took 10 years. You know, the guy that created Constant Contact, he spent years in his freaking basement of his mother's house working on it. Now, Alex has, what, gazillion dollars after selling the thing? And so you got to just think of it that way. You got to just keep grinding, keep going. So I, I just wanted to add that in, Laurel, that it just have that mindset. That's, yep. that's another thing about the community. You're going to be talking to people in this community that have failed. You can come talk to me. I can tell you a lot, lots of times that I have failed, right? And as Randy was saying, you're around people that have failed. However, we have overcome those. We have continued to go on. And one of the things that I have such high respect for Laurel, and I'm, I'm not saying this to put her down in any way, she has had some failures. You know, there's been some things that have come along and man, she she pivots, she goes a new way and it's remarkable what she does. It's, it's fun to watch and it's fun to be around. All right, let's go to the next slide. I'm going to do a few uh, setup slides, and then we're going to get to the meat of the Millionaire Intensive. So uh, one of the things you need to do is uh, go to this link, and this will be a resource page, right? It's your guide page. It's where you're going to find a T-sheet, so print off a lot of them, because you're going to need 120, 30, 40 lines. And this afternoon, a bunch of our graduates are going to join, so you can get more people. So instead of trying to scramble and write down people in the Zoom, which, by the way, is an FTC violation, and we can't share this, the, the chat with you. I'm sorry, the chat. So what we're going to do is you're going to start manually writing down the name, the phone number, the email of people. And there's a structure we're going to give you at 3 o'clock to do that. 
So you're going to be able to get every phone number and email as long as you play along. There's a very specific structure. And then the benefit is you can keep using these sheets every time you join a Zoom call instead of scrambling around and DMing and doing all that out here. I guarantee you, you actually take their name, phone number. If you can get their email, get as much contact information from them by doing what we're going to teach you around three o'clock, uh, you will have a database from heaven. Like you'll be able to go to Zooms. I've gotten not only invited to Zooms, I've been in other people's rooms and through DM and then writing their name, putting them in my database, sending them a bunch of gifts and cool content. They called me back and became my clients. So I might or might not even present it on that Zoom. So there's a way to get leads that a lot of you just haven't commanded. So go out and get that for sure. Get a funnel, print off a few funnel sheets. <clears throat> there's just a lot of resources out there. There's uh, chapters of my books out there. So make sure that you uh, save this and you will never be kicked out of it. Once you've come to a millionaire intensive, this will always be a link that's available. You're welcome to always come back and get it. So make sure you highlight it somewhere. And then on the next slide, we wanna make sure, those of you who want the replay of this, so this is a free introductory event, um, but we wanna uh, offer you an upgrade to VIP. So this is 100% of you should do it, and here's why. The replays, number one, the replays. So if those five people around you or your family, I call them your family and friends, don't buy into all this. I, I don't know how many people are allowing your spouse, who is the least educated, because they're not even here, to run the ranch, as Randy would say, meaning run your family. So they're the least educated in business and finance, but they're making a decision to keep you small and safe, safe to their parameters of being broke or damn near broke. So now you want this replay at your command. I just sent it just even here during while we were going, right, where videos were playing, Steve Harvey. I just sent replays, right, back out to other people, like on a regular basis. I'm constantly sending replays, at least this morning session, to have people get an orientation to what do we do so differently that any other organization does. Grant Cardone doesn't do it. Gary Vee doesn't do it. Tony Robbins doesn't do it. Kiyosaki doesn't do it. I know Kiyosaki's world very well. Sharon Lecter, one of my, she's my financial mom. She doesn't do this, right? She's way different in her space. We know the same things. We live the same way, but the content and the team, the integration of the team is our, our distinctive value point. So you want the replays to share with your spouse who can't be here, your kids who can't be here. Um, right now, like I, I, I'm, I'm headed to DC, right? I said to watch my son, uh, which is the irony of that because he could be in the draft tonight. So I'm watching like the draft. I have five men in the draft, five families in the draft. Uh, they're all going to get a, a big contract. Uh, can't wait to work with them. They're going to live corporate life, not an employee life of a broke NFL player. They're going to totally live their life different. They're coming our way soon, Scott. Can't wait. So there, you will be first up because they need to get incorporated. Some of these men are making already so much money on NIL, name, image, and likeness, and they're taking it to their personal bank account. No, no, no. Yeah, company. You're a company now. It's a totally different way to live. Can't wait. So the replays are critical. You're going to get the library, fast cash, another ticket. Uh, you're going to get our teach your kids the value of money, skill set analyzer. Uh, Cash Machine is our millionaire maker book. Reading Room is eight hours of me teaching you how to have a six, seven figure business. Huge value. Uh, put more cash in your pocket. Another eight hours. How to put more cash in your pocket. It's like really for beginning uh, business owners and then everything else. So for 47 bucks, you're getting thousands of dollars of stuff. So go grab it. Grab the link right now. And once you have it, again, preserve that link somewhere because you're going to want to send it out to people because you're going to be shifting and changing as you decide to <clears throat> join our community. And they're going to be like, what are you doing? Like, why are you so different? And you're going to say, I'm becoming a millionaire. And if they laugh and say, oh, yeah, right, you can't do that. Well, first of all, uh -uh, until you listen to something else, you don't get to critic. Like, how many of you allow, especially you women, you allow people to criticize your life. So instead of... Um, having a proper conversation, you convince them that you're doing the right thing. Like you don't, you know, you're doing the right thing. You've got to become a decisive decision maker for what's right for you with the right knowledge. <clears throat> and a lot of you, you need to be here for a while to get the right knowledge to know you're doing the right thing. You might think you've done great. Wait till we get our little hands on you. All right, next slide. So again, we break this down. How do you become a millionaire? So if you really think about the big four, I call them the big four components. Now, inside of these components, notice there's all sorts of like little detailed lines. So becoming a millionaire, you have to make money, number one. Number two, you've got to keep it through corporate structure and trust. This is the own nothing control at all section of your life. Then you have to learn to invest it. 
under your command, not a financial planner where you're going to park your money, pray to God that 40 years they're going to make something work and then do it with the team. So notice it's an infinity loop because you, from the minute you walk on the planet, whether you know it or not, you're going to deal with money to the day you walk off the planet. So those of you who have children in my world, if you actually read the book, Make Your Kids Millionaires, if you want to put up that link, you need to go get it. Go get it on our site. You get all sorts of bonuses and fun stuff. If you get it on our site, if you go to Amazon, it's cheaper, but you're not going to get all the bonuses. And so Make Your Kids Millionaires, you know, my kids were employed, employed by my company at birth, got Roth IRAs by week one. Like <laughs> you do that for 20 years. At approximately 6,000, now 6,500, you can give to a kid in a Roth or like my Roth, I'm over 50, so I get 7,500. Um, if all you did for 20 years is do that, well, you say, well, that's only 120,000, $130,000, right? But invested properly for 20 years could easily be worth a half million to a million dollars. And that's putting 500, $550 a month away for one child. That's all you have to do to make your kids millionaires if you read the book. So go get the book. So again, a lot of you, you have assets like kids. If you don't have kids, you should get them. Uh, Randy does other things because he doesn't have kids <laughs> to get tax deductible kids. Um, but fully living corporate life. So uh, anything you guys want to say about this or we're going to go straight into corporate life, bring Scott onto the call a little more. It's the way we live. All right. So let's go corporate life. This is the signature slide, I would call it, because this is what we're taught. We're taught to live employee life. So go and put all that up, Steve. We'll talk about why this is such a problem. The problem is that you spend preschool <clears throat> through kindergarten, through elementary school, through middle school, through high school, through college, learning to be an employee. So when you have that much rigor of becoming an employee, like my son has a finance accounting and master's in accounting. He said, mom, I have never been taught one class that even compares to what you teach because I teach entrepreneurs. Colleges, schools, life teaches you to be an employee. And that if you make money and you get a good job and you park your money with financial planners, that the whole thing's going to work out. Well, I think all of you, if you're aware enough, uh, 2008, 9, 10, rough, right? I don't know how many economic downturns, rough, the COVID, rough, lost 33% of the market, the biggest downfall in the market in March, April, 2020. Last year was another 25, 28% drop. We're in a recession. We're at high interest rates. Most of you have no idea how to navigate. So you just put your head down. And as long as you have a job, your life's good. Now, it's also interesting is that the world has changed in the last three years, if you haven't noticed. And there's a lot of people who don't want to work. I don't know how the hell they're living in a recession with high interest rates and high inflation and not working. But everybody, you look at the amount of businesses that need to hire people. And there's still over 20 something million people who are sitting doing nothing. I don't know. The whole thing's interesting. So choose your life, make it committed and jump. Here's the problem is that we are taught, this is American statistics. So proportionally, it's the same thing around the world. Um, so 80, if you make 80,000 in the United States, you're in the top 25% of income earners. If you make a hundred thousand, you ready for this one? This is a disgusting statistic. If you make 100, you're in the top 3%. If you make a quarter million, you're a one percenter. So now I want to ask a question. How many of you have made, and I want you to qualify, employee or entrepreneur? How many of you have made more than 100,000 as an employee or entrepreneur? I don't care. You've made over 100. That means you're in the top 3%. I guarantee if I asked you individually, none of you would say, I feel like I'm a top 3 percenter. The, 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 the numbers are staggering. So Chrissy, Terry, Jordan, take notes on who said yes of the 100K. So at least you've hit 100, whether you're employer or entrepreneur. And again, you don't feel like it. Like it doesn't feel any different. And by the way, I hate to break the big bubble of burst going out there, but when you become a millionaire, it's sort of like cool and you keep going. I think a lot of people think, well, I'm going to become a millionaire and stop. That's not how, because you're in the middle of a big jam. Like you're, you're rallying. You have a business that's flourishing. You have a project that's working. You have investments that are working. So you just don't say, oh, I'm a millionaire worth 2 million, 5 million, whatever your goal is and stop. You transition your work and get, because now you can afford more team. Are you guys getting it? But you just don't stop. There's such a misconception about wealthy people. Like we kind of get addicted to money and business. Like I know I'm a deal addict. If I had to like 
go through an addiction program, it would be deals. Scott's laughing. <laughs> Scott knows me well. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, I need another, I need another IV of a deal. Uh, anyway, I, that was my little humor. All right, here's a problem with this way of living. It's employee money. It's the worst kind of money you could ever make. Entrepreneurial money is different and is taxed differently. So there's a lot of kinds of income. And a lot of you just think money's money. It's not. It's very different quality of money, I call it. So when you make money, in employee money, you're taxed at 40, 50%. You then get to contribute to a 401k, which is uh, the very people who paid you, you're going to give them back all your money. Like that's an interesting why. And then one of your coworkers is going to invest it for you with a financial firm. And Randy, Randy, what's the statistic? It takes less time to get a financial license than it does to learn to cut hair. Yeah, I, in, in the state of California, it's, it's less time consuming to get a license to give you advice around areas of money than it is to get a license to cut hair. Shocking. Think about it. But less and, they, less and, and these are the people that beat their chest and tell you how they're a fiduciary. They're the responsible one. And they have, most of them, ha unless you have real money and can hire one that's independent and good, they do not have that ability. So it just, it's, it's, it's a, grr. yeah. <laughs> for those of you who have 401ks, they're not bad. Like at Chevron, I was at Chevron, as I said, like for a minute of my life, I was an employee mainly because I couldn't afford the helicopter insurance and I was flying around on their plane. So I had to become an employee to go into their insurance. Um, so they had a good 401k, right? And I know we're going to, you'll meet Kamal later today. He has a good 401k. Adam, like, had, you know, had a good 401k. I don't know if you guys have good 401ks. So there's good ones, but the majority of them are crap. All of them you can borrow against, uh, but you don't know how to do that. No one teaches you that or tells you that. You have to learn that from us. Uh, and then you're offered death insurance, which is what everybody markets on the internet and on TV. And it's not the insurance Jason is talking about. That's life insurance. Death insurance is term insurance. It's a waste of your money completely. Um, and then you go on vacation because you are a good little person and you earned it. Odd way to live. My kids have never been on vacation. It's our joke. Like even today, Tristan, my daughter is so funny. She's ditching school. Uh, well, she's super, she's top of her class. So she gets to do whatever. Anyway, she's funny. She's like, mom, are we, like, could we call this a vacation? I said, no, I'm going to go see Logie. He's my business partner. And soon, you know, when you're 18, you'll be my business partner. So now we're going to take business trips. She's like, yeah, but can't we just call it a vacation? I said, no, you can't write off a vacation. Why would you ever waste your time or money doing a vacation? You guys getting how we think it's very different and you got to hang out with us. And I think the other misconception for a lot of you is you think people that are a higher level financially than you don't have time for you, won't take time for you. That's not true. We're waiting for you to actually raise your hand and get committed. What we find is most of you are interested and you waste our time because you're not going to do the work. So the negative crap that I do have on the internet, I'll just speak to it. It's lazy people. They didn't want to do the work. They wanted me to like have some pixie dust and a magic wand. I don't have either. We have a hell of a lot of knowledge that we're going to teach you and you're going to learn and you're going to like go back to school with us. Now, is that going to take more time? No, you're probably Netflix binging. So instead of Netflix binge, go to my YouTube channel and binge there. Like you just have to shift what you're doing during your day to become more productive, not busy. You're taught over everyone's taught debt and credit cards are bad. Nothing's for the, from the truth. That's totally wrong. Go watch my YouTube channel. I've got hours of re reorienting you around debt. Uh, retirement isn't even a financial word. It's an agriculture word. It means to put cattle out of the pasture to die or die to retire a cow. Well, I don't think your cows either. So we call it transition or freedom day. And then you file taxes like just a few weeks ago in April. See, we haven't all filed taxes yet. We're not filing until September and October. That's your real tax filing in the United States. So what you're taught though, is if you live this life, you've done a damn good job. Well, we don't see that. So here's what we teach. It's not a program, it's a lifestyle. It's what I call how to live corporate life. So we're going to put this up, Steve. I'm going to bring Scott into the picture. So companies, this is the own nothing, control everything. Your company, your S Corp, C Corp, LLC, limited partnership, which only this man's going to tell you what you need. And then you're going to hold it in a trust. When your company makes money, now you can be an employee. Like I'm a little tiny employee of my company. Like I'm, I'm, I'm dropping down next month to 36,000 because my son got a true job uh, in Congress. So he's going to go be in a federal employee, 
and he's going to take all their benefits and come off mine for the first time. So now I don't need 48,000. I'm going to drop 36,000. And that's all I make. I'm a single mom of now a one dependent. So that is way below the Obamacare rules, which means my health care is pristine. See, a lot of you that have your own companies, you're filing your company. Anyway, your whole health care problem is wrong. So we'll solve your health care problem. And you're not going to, it's going to be fine that you leave because you're still going to get benefits. I pay $209 a month for low interest at night for three of us, pristine in health care. So a lot of you, like you won't leave your jobs because you have benefit packages. Create your own benefit package. Right, create your own HSA, your own benefit package, which is because when your company makes money, not you. Like if you sent me a check, any of these guys sent me a check, they know better. Or you send it if I sent them a check, if I sent Randy, Jason, or Scott a check, they would send it back and say, put it in my company name. I don't have money. Like I don't make money because I don't need a phone. My companies need a phone, but Laurel doesn't need a phone. You guys getting it? This is a process, it's a lifestyle. It's not a program that you're going to join in when we're going to expire you. You're going to join as a lifetime membership. You're going to be with us forever. Your company's going to make money. Now you activate 81,000 pages, the greatest tax code in the world. And, uh, <clears throat> like was married to a Canadian, for example, just to give you ideas. In Canada, there's only 30, about 3,200 pages of tax code, 3,200, 3,200. This is 81,000 pages of code. In Australia, there's about 3,400 pages of code. In the UK, there's about 2,800. It just gets worse across the world. So why do a lot of people come to the United States to do business? Because of this tax code we have. That's the greatest thing our government ever did. Now you have a social 401k, which is your qualified plan. So your escort proceed, but your company's gonna have your own, your own plan and you're gonna have a Roth IRA, which grows tax-free, tax-deferred. Great place to put, say, Bitcoin. Um, I bought my Bitcoin at 4,000 and then 9,000. It's worth over 100,000. I only did that a few years ago. So that's all inside my Roth, all tax-free, tax-deferred. Life insurance, the real stuff. Jason's going to help you get that done where you can actually become your own bank and your own lender. You're going to take business trips, never vacations. You're going to love debt and credit cards. You're going to use them right. You're going to use them for the high benefits that they can provide you done right. And you're going to have freedom days and you're going to file taxes in September and October. That's how we're going to roll in America. And then there's a version of all of this across the world, because I know there's some Australians and people from around the world out here. So in principle, this works. It's a worldwide thing. It's how the wealthy live. It's not Laurel's process. It's how people live. I just think we put it together in the cleanest, fastest way to help you and a heck of a team that's going to help you. So I'm a, Scott, I'm going to turn it to you first. Talk about the differences. It's just at a very high level. And knowing you can also do Canadian, uh, you know, uh, corporate structures as well. And there's a version of Scott and he and I will help you find it in any other country. We have them in Australia, obviously Canada, uh, UK, South Africa, Dubai, pretty pretty regularly there in those countries. If you're from another country, we will figure it out with you. Scott, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. I mean, if your intent is to live the corporate life to create generational wealth, you need to form your corporation or LLC now. Operating your business as a sole proprietor, yes, it is the easiest way to get into business. However, it provides no legal separation. You have limited tax deductions, roughly around 15 to 30 different write-offs. Uh, you're unable to build a separate credit profile because everything is attached to your personal FICO score. And again, we as individuals, the more money we make, the more money they take, meaning the higher the tax bracket. And if you're a sole proprietor and you pass away, as Laurel talked about, nobody knows their expiration date. But if you're a sole proprietor, that business is going to die along with you. So again, if the intent is to build, uh, build a business that you can eventually pass on, take advantage of what we're talking about here, we need to have that corporate structure in place. The 81,000 pages of tax code really equates to approximately 233 to 305 different corporate write-offs. So that allows you far more use of your money up front, which ultimately reduces the amount of taxes. What that also does is it's going to keep more money in the estate rather than paying it out to the silent partners, right? In addition, <clears throat> if the intent is generational- I want to qualify when Scott says silent partner. Sorry, I, he's talking about the IRS or your- Sorry, your yeah, I should have said that. <laughs> like a lot of you, you're overpaying taxes and you don't even know. 
what a company could do to totally redo your taxes. And those of you who join the table, we will do a three-year tax return review as a starting point and help you get money back. Randy will tell you a story in a minute, but I want to say, who is he talking about silent partner? We're talking about the IRS. Absolutely. The, the tax authorities. <laughs> the ta yes. And so again, when we use corporations and LLCs, corporations have perpetual existence, which means that they're going to live on until somebody, either you or someone in the family or generations to come, file documentation with the state that formally dissolves it. So again, in order to be able to take advantage of all these write-offs, be able to build a separate credit profile, be able to create generational wealth, we have to form the corporation or the LLC now. Now, some of you may already have your entities in place, which is great. You've taken the first step. But then we need to look at things like, do you have the proper documentation in place, like a properly written operating agreement or bylaws? Do you have minutes and resolutions? Now, some of you may be thinking, well, I was told to form an LLC because, you know, I was told that they don't have to uh, or they don't have the same compliance requirements that you do with a corporation. Well, anybody who has told you that is absolutely misinforming you when it comes to the state the state may not require them. However, when you're dealing with the federal government, the IRS, the court systems, the very first set of documents that they're going to look at are not your financials. They're going to want to see how your corporation or LLC is structured. The reason that they're doing that is to determine whether the company needs to be treated as a separate entity or if they can set it aside because they've proven what's called the alter ego theory. Now, Alter ego, again, means you're a sole proprietor. So if you've taken deductions as an entity, they can be disallowed. They can, you would be paying penalties on that. And if you have this awesome structure in place, but you're not maintaining the documentation, again, the complete estate can be destroyed simply by a court proving that alter ego theory. So again, having the right structure, having the right team, the right documentation in place is absolutely critical if you want to live this life. And that's the beautiful thing about this community. Well, and I want to say like, I'm, I'm in the chat right now. So like Olivia just said, you know, um, I just got a new job lined up, um, blah, 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 blah. I just went, it's just my, 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 my chat just scrolled. But essentially, like we're not asking you to quit your job. So some of you, I mean, we have, you know, folks who are uh, engineers, uh, doctors, lawyers, like they have to keep a job. Like my son, do you think he likes having a job? No, he wants to do that work, right? So he's going to do that work, but he's also an entrepreneur. He has LLCs with me. He's actually getting his own. He's going to do a real estate whole project. Um, so it's about having both because I am an employee. And again, we are going to talk about a healthcare thing. For those of you who are serious, you're going to jump and commit. And we're going to teach you the whole healthcare strategy because it's really distinctive. And a lot of you, you have your companies, but you pay yourself too much. Uh, and when you pay yourself too much, you blow the entire structure. So, uh, you know, a, a lot of you, like, again, you're, you're, <laughs> when you get here, you're going to be shocked at what you can do, what you can do. So again, it's having an employee life at a very small level because that's the worst kind of money, because it's the immediate tax, right? I mean, you're not employed, you get a paycheck, it's already been taxed. The corporate life is you make the money, you get all the deductions, and then you get all these other things on the list, and then you file taxes 10 months after the year ends. Like, it's a totally different strategy than ever you're taught. People say a lot of times too, and I think Jason, Randy, Scott, we can all weigh in on this. People say, who, who really should be teaching us this? I'm going to put it in the CPA and the tax strategy camp, but they're not. They're filing tax returns. There's there's this gap of education in the system. And again, I'm going to teach all of you. You're all going to learn this afternoon. Adam, Thomas, uh, you know, Jordan, Kamal are going to come on and we're going to talk about businesses. But a lot of you, when you think about what your business is, where's the distinction? So when I look at the financial services world, I think where's the problem? The problem is there's no education, right? There's experts. There's licensed people who went to school less than people who got hair. That's disgusting. Um, so who's the glue? Who's going to be the educator, the one that's going to help you behaviorally? Like once you could get incorporated, how are you going to know how to write this off? How are you going to move your vehicles out of your personal name, right? Those are, that's Scott and his team and resolutions and moving. How many resolutions are there, Scott? Two, 300? 
Yeah, there's about 256 different types of formalities in corporations and LLCs, correct? So all of this is available. And for some of you, depending on your business, you can write up your dogs, you can write up your cats, you can write up your guns, you can write up your jewelry, you can write up, I mean, it depends what you're doing. So there's no cookie cutter. So Scott, I know you don't like that I ask you to do it, but I'm going to ask, why not go to the dot coms? Uh, I mean, comms. <laughs> well, so uh, yeah. The, the legal Zooms, the $99 store, I call it the 99 cent store. Why not go to them? Like, what's the difference when you come with us versus those kind of, you know, they seem a little cheaper in the beginning and then tell them how it actually rolls out at the end. Because we, yeah, we get the, we get, you end up paying more because you, you did absolutely it. do. A lot of people will say, you know, I can go to one of the dot coms and I can get this thing done cheaper. Well, again, you know, you want if you want a Ferrari, you can't pay the Yugo price, right? You've you've got to pay for the Ferrari. So, <laughs> so I I want to be to put a point on here. When when you go to something else, you're getting an entity. When you're coming to Scott, you're getting Scott, right? And, and it's the behavior of the individual is more, is, is probably the most important part of the whole equation, right? And when you don't know how to behave, you're able to ask Scott, does this work or what's better? And so in my mind, that's really a, a big and part of the whole thing. You're getting the expert to help you through the minefield. There are minefields. Let's be clear there. There's minefields that'll blow up on your face that will make it so you're in big doo-doo, right? And so... Yeah, the entity, and, the, and there's millions of different types of entities too, and how the founding documents are written. And there's things from people that have uh, experience can write things in that are brilliant that you're not going to find from the dot com. Sorry, I, I interrupted you, Scott Howard, but I wanted to oh, you're put good. on there because you you're are good. the guy. <laughs> well, thank you, Jason. Jay I'm just so excited to there. Yeah. So, uh, so I want to build on what Jason was saying there and kind of going back to what Laura was talking about with the $99 or the, you know, the dot coms is they're a document processing service. They're just simply filing documents with the state for you. They're not going to tell you whether the LLC is best for you. The corporation is going to be best for you. They're just saying, hey, what do you want to call it? Who are the officers? What is the address we should have? And how do you want to pay for it? Now, if you want additional guidance above and beyond that, they're going to send you to, well, this firm that I have corrected a lot of things <laughs> that, that have come to me from them, uh, that's going to charge you $500 plus dollars an hour each time that they talk to you. So again, the $99 now is $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 because you're, you're, and you're really not getting the right information, the right team. So again, yeah, it's it's absolutely imperative, you know, utilizing somebody who's going to provide you the guidance. That's what my team does. We don't just shoot from the hip and say, oh, this is what you need to do. We take an overall evaluation of what you're doing in your life, in your business, and what that end goal is to ensure that you have the right structure. Because the last thing you want to do is get into business, have this entity in place, and then figure out later you're in the wrong entity and now have to go back and rebuild all of that, put new bank accounts in place, merchant services. If you've got contracts with vendors or clients, all of that would have to change. So again, making sure that you've got the solid foundation, the right entity in place from the get-go is, is again, a, a huge factor in building a solid business structure. Well, and I want to just kind of speak to some of the things in the chat. So yes, in principle, this is done all over the world. Do you have as many choices? No. So a lot of times what our international folks will do when they become a millionaire is they will actually open a U.S. company. And usually that'll happen out of Scott's office in Reno, Nevada. Um, you can use our office in Carson City. We typically use Scott's office. And then, so we've got a lot of clients and then you fund that company and then you can invest in the U.S., for better depreciation schedules because there's assets in America you can buy. You can buy them around the world, but when you buy them in America, you get different tax strategy around it. So this isn't just about making money and hoarding and keeping it inside companies. It's about a make, invest, and keep strategy that all is comprehensive. And the biggest thing for you in the next few years, for a lot of you, is to learn what the heck we're teaching you. We're not going to do it for you. We're going to teach you how to do it. And 
uh, we'll be side by side by you, but we can't legally sign. Like, I'm not going to be your power of attorney. I can't sign your trust documents. I can't sign your corporate documents. But Scott and I will be there on a Zoom the minute you're signing them, if you want. So, like, yeah, a lot of you, like, Yvette keeps texting me. She's like, you know, I need to have a good, solid foundation. You all need to have a good, solid foundation. You are all missing so much. Um, and Randy, you don't go too far away because I want you to tell your story about how much you've saved in taxes. Um, Dr. Teresa, which a lot of you know, I don't know, like I just had her uh, do a testimonial. And in the last, she's only been with us maybe 18 months, right, Scott, maybe 18. She's already got $124,000 back in a, in less than two year tax return reviews. 124,000 is her, her recovery from bad firms. And I'm gonna say it out loud because there's no secret about it, but that's Anderson Law and Anderson Consulting, one of the biggest firms in the world that Scott and I have to do all the recovery on it. So a lot of you think, well, if I have a different name or a prestigious firm, no, we like like the small and nimble. Are you kidding? The small and nimble is how this game's played. So love to help all of you and do it right. And it's not about delaying. One of you also said to me that while I'm in the middle of doing blah, 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 don't care. This is a start at 18 years old. So the way I structure this is the minute you're 18, you get an LLC, you're a legal adult. It's interesting. My daughter just figured out that in the 2024 election, she'll be 18 years old. She'll be senior in high school and she'll get a vote for the first time. And uh, we had that whole conversation about, you know, Republican, Democrat, and nonpartisan, blah, 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 blah. So it's going to be fun for her to learn all of this. But at 18, my, my kids don't have a choice. They want generational wealth. They will play by mom's games. As my kids learn, I have money. They don't. They can earn it, they can acquire it, <laughs> right? Scott, Jason, we have the money. Our kids can have it when they behave to our culture and our values. So some of you, it's called parenting. I can tell you nothing that I've learned more in launching that book on Make Your Kids Millionaires. It's really a book on parenting and you got to collaborate with your kids. So how many of you, I want to do a quick poll now. How many of you, now that you've seen this, want to live corporate life? Just put a yes. It's not a stupid amount of paperwork, by the way, and owner withdrawals. We did like, no, all of this, all of this, Amanda, will get set up very seamlessly. Yeah, there's some different work. To, I'm going to say different activity work to do than what you're doing, but it's not that much business. I mean, so many of you, you're already doing activity. You're just doing odd activity. Um, and for all of you, again, <laughs> um, I'm just reading the chat. It's fun to like hear all of you. Um, none of you can get to Scott, Jason, or Randy without joining the community. You don't go from a fear free event. You don't go from a free event to, like you said, the Ferrari, the Lamborghini model. So you've got to join. You've got to talk to a strategist. So to that point, I want to know really quick, how many of you, yes or no, I got to see on my yeses here. I got all so you're in the right place. If you want to live corporate life, you're in the right place. If this is just interesting and awe shocking to you, get the replay for 47 bucks, listen to it over and over and over, and it will finally occur to you, this is the only way to live. I mean, you could live, employ life, be taxed forever and do all that. That's interesting, not very helpful um, or not. So what I want to know right now, yes or no, we're going to go no. Oh, wow, well, we have a no thanks, not corporate life. Wow, uh, that's shocking. So, I mean, your choice is to live broke. Your choice is to live broke. And I apologize, I'm at the airport. So I'm trying to jam before all these people come in and get loud. Oh, God, I know things about employee. Olivia is about to have a heart attack because you and I have been having a nice little chat. I was going to like, oh my gosh. All right, now we're going to have a new, new vote because this is critical. You talk to your strategist about living corporate life. So if you still have not figured out who your strategist is, put a no in the chat one more time. Just put a no if you have not figured out who your strategist is. So team, Jordan, Terry, Chrissy, look at that list. It's so big. The no's are too, too big. And a lot of you on your side, you also have to be on your phone texting. So if you're on your phone and you only have the one device, um, you may have to log out and log back in uh, or just call the office. So here is the office number, 775-901-3998. Someone of you guys put it in the chat, please. I will put it in the chat as well. And just call the office. We've got a whole team there ready to tell you who your strategist is. And uh, we'll get that started. All right. So we're going to teach you how to live corporate life. Let's go on to the next slide again. Real quick, Laurel. But, um, go ahead, I want, I'm kind of a math geek. Sorry. I, I like to look at it on the left side as kind of linear. 
growth in wealth. And on the right side is exponential, the potential for exponential growth in your wealth. Um, yeah, if you want to be just simply linear, you may or may not get to where you want to be. Uh, most likely, like what's everybody's experiencing, they just talk to people that are 65, 70, they have 50% of what they thought they're going to have. On the right side, this possibility of the probability is at least 95% and even more. You're muted, Laurel. <clears throat> Uh, now we can hear you. I want to know, do you know how to open a foreign express trust? If we don't know how to do something, believe me, we will find it. And we're the best at finding something that's aligned to what we do. So um, if you're here looking for like a diamond in the rough in one thing, that's not what we do. We are comprehensive. We do it all at once. All right, let's go to the next slide. Anything else you want to say about corporate life, Scott? No, I think we've pretty well covered it. You know, uh, no one, there's not one size fits all. So basically we need to explore what you have and uh, identify what's going to be best. So that's all I can, that's all I can say on that. All right, next slide, the system. Here's a shocking thing for a lot of you. The system was not broke. It was built this way intentionally. And I'm sorry about that background noise. I can't hand, I can't fix it. Are you guys, can you still hear me okay? okay. Yes, you're um, good. So again, the system wasn't broke, it was built. And so here's how you want to think about it. Because a lot of this, you know, there's a lot of political uh, weird agendas going on. I'm going to say that. So you can be in this macro BS version of the world or what you can do is um, just do what's within your control. Um, so when you think about finance and business, you can control here, you can control your family, you can control what you can control. The rest of it's interesting. You wanna know it, you wanna be aware. I promise you in our community, we'll keep you informed of what's going on, what's going on in cryptocurrency, what's going on in the economy, what's going on with the dollar, what's going on if with any of these trusts. Some of you, you isolate into very specific one like thing and you think that's gonna be solving it all. I promise you, guarantee you what we've put together comprehensively, you're gonna need parts and pieces of all of it for most of your life. And at some point you're gonna need it depending on how your age, depending on your situation and depending on what's going on with you. So the next slide, let's keep moving, sequencing. The first thing you're gonna do when you join our community, and Randy, are you out there? Can you come back to us? I'm gonna have you set up for uh, talking about your story a little bit, if you guys can find him. Sequencing, this is the Millionaire Maker book. I think it's in chapter three or four. The gap analysis, what you're gonna go through with our strategists. Leadership, teamwork, and conditioning is what you're going to do for the rest of your life. You're going to like learn to lead. Like there's not a point where Scott, Brandy, Jason, and I aren't growing our capacity, learning about something new. When Ryan's dot father died, I mean, three days before signing, that was new learning for Scott and I. We had like get to the front, you know, we, we had to get to the front line and make sure he was handled and things were fine with him. Um, the six in the middle is where the distinction is really critical. So when put up the six in the middle, Steve. Steve, click, click, click. So the six in the middle is where you're all very different. Some of you have what I call lazy assets. Some of you have got to get incorporated. You've been living in sole proprietor land. Some of you, oh, here's the thing. I too, oh, Scott, we got to start talking about this more. I love the amount of people who say, well, I have a second home. I'm like, a second home. So now you have two homes, no corporate structure, complete liability. Why isn't the second home uh, an Airbnb, a short-term rental, in a corporate structure. And then you become a real estate professional helping manage it. Like some of you have, you have a lot of the puzzle, but you're like, it's like this. Like if you would just do this, you'd have it linked together. You're doing this and you know, you know intuitively it's not right, but you don't know how to fix it. Hence why we have that distinction. And the reason I keep up bringing up distinctions, I want you thinking about what is it that you do? So many of you are coaches, your facilitators, your authors. Well, so am I. That's the process to educate. Being an author is a process to educate by giving you a book. 
right? Being a coach is a process to facilitate your learning. That is not a title. A title is an expert. I'm an expert in money, right? Scott's an expert in entities and trust. Jason's an expert in insurance. Randy's an expert in iFlip in the stock market and automated trading. So all of you, you've got to get this right. Like some of you, you have assets, lazy, not working well. Your companies, or how many of you, let's just do this. Here's, here's a poll for you, Scott, so you can take the names with stuff. And how many of you have a company, an LLC, an S Corp, C Corp, or something in the world, part a limited proprietary, whatever it's called, but you don't know for sure if it's set up right. So there's your hot list right there, Scott. Okay. Uh, how many people have one? And you actually probably have the best advantage of a bigger tax return because most of your CPAs didn't use the company right. So you didn't deduct enough. You didn't use the proper structure. So those of you who have a job and an LLC but is never functional, usually have the best option of getting a lot of money back from and your tax returns. So there you go. Awesome. Cash machines. You all need a bigger cash machine. You got to make more money because how are you going to invest money if you've never made it? It's not going to come out of thin air. I love how people say, oh, I want to get in real estate. It's like, well, do you have any money to invest? Well, no. Have you ever done a deal? No. Well, first of all, let's go make some money. And then with the money, you're going to do your first deal. And then with your other next year, you're going to keep doing deals. Forecasting is our word for budget, but it's just like diets. I don't like them. They're restrictive. So I call it forecast. You're going to spend, so forecast it consciously. I'm going to make money, which company, and I'm only Scott, and I and your CPA, the, the one we assign you, tax strategist, is going to tell you who writes this off, which company? Which company writes this one off? Which company writes off the computer that I'm on? Which company writes off my Jeep? Which company writes off the vehicles? How does this all work? Wealth accounts. So uh, is Randy out there? Is he coming back to us today? Because I want to go ahead and give uh, the webinar for iFlip. So iFlip is uh, uh, an AI-driven software that can take you in and out of the market, protect you if you do like the stock market. And then debt management is going to be a shocker. We're not going to get you out of debt. If you say, well, I want to wait to get out of debt. Like I have two clients that come to me, they paid off their houses and their vehicles, and now we're refinancing back into debt. So big waste of money, big waste of time. So don't say, well, I got to figure my stuff out before I can work with you. You don't know how to figure it out. Scott and I, Jason, the team, our coaches are going to help you figure it out. So sequencing is a pivotal part. So your job right now is talk to your strategist. Again, call our office if you don't know uh, who your strategist is. I'll put it in here again since this chat keeps scrolling. And uh, figure out who your strategist is, get an appointment, and uh, they'll help solve your, like, what's your problem? What solution can we have? And then we'll get right into coaching in a sequence. Those of you who come to the big table, you're going to immediately be connected to me and get my phone. I guarantee you there's not another guru in the world that gives her phone out as much as I do because I want really high touch with you. You'll end up with Scott's, Jason's, Randy's, and the whole team. All right. So I'm going to do a few resources for you, for those of you who enjoy this, where you can just learn more and get more of your friends and family involved. So go to the next slides, uh, Steve. Actually, this one is, this one's more about you. Sorry. This one is for those of you who don't understand the bathroom wall called the internet where anybody can write anything about you. Like I literally could take all your names and write something negative about you and there's no delete button. There's no erase button. It's, it sucks. So if somebody would have told me this earlier in my career, I could have had been more preventive about what's all been written all over the bathroom wall about me, but it's there. So what I need is if, if you've enjoyed this and like this and you want to earn $350 of tuition credit, uh, give me up to five reviews. If you want to give me one review, you're going to have $50. If you want to give me up to three reviews, you can have up to $350 of tuition credit. We do that because I need reviews, as you all probably have seen. Uh, you all need reviews because you're all going to have a great start. And then all of a sudden, somebody's going to, you're going to irritate somebody. And then they're going to be like, well, you know, Scott sucks. He's the worst ever. Jason sucks. Like we've all been through it together. So have a review site. So do two things. Do it for me and then have somebody build this for you. You want a review site on yourself. So it'd be like askscott.com forward slash review Scott, review Jason. Like you want a site to keep your reputation because reputation management is very difficult out here on the bathroom wall called the internet. So please make sure you do that. Here's a few more resources. This is probably my number one asset that we've grown. Uh, July will be a two-year commitment so far. Five days a week, we are here on YouTube. Massive, massive channel. 
and we are here for business and finance. Jason's out there, Scott's out there. A lot of our experts are out there with me. You can look in our search bar, click the notifications five days a week. And any of your kids that are say five and older can really listen to this. They're gonna learn a ton. So again, subscribe, click the notification button, be on YouTube all the time. You're gonna get a lesson every day. Uh, the next one is a podcast once a week. Again, I'm a pretty aggressive podcaster. Uh, my podcast is in the top 5% in the world right now. It's a Real Money Talks podcast, and I'm in there every Friday. So again, subscribe, get the notification. You've got a lot, a lot of content of great experts. And then again, the slide one more time. If you haven't got this book, you need it. It's probably the most thorough checklist of everything you need to do for you and your family to become wealthy. So even if you're not zero to 20, the checklist is zero to 20. It's the same checklist of what you should have done. So say you're 32, who cares? Start with zero and do everything we've talked about doing. And then the last one, last resource that we have for all of you is Ask Laurel. Um, you can do it for free. Go ahead and click the next slide. Uh, if you can't ask a question, you can't have a conversation or you can join the membership. Once you join our big table, your grandfather, this cost will come off and uh, you can ask me any question anytime because you're also gonna have my cell phone. So there's that. Uh, any last questions on living corporate life? Cause that's really what we do. That's our distinction. How do you live corporate life? Uh, any other questions before we move to kind of wrap in this section up and we're gonna move to a database. Scott, Jason, anything you guys wanna say about this? No, I think we've pretty well covered it. As I said, you know, there's not a one size fits all. So, so I would encourage all of you to speak with your strategist, you know, join the community. Let That way we can have a conversation and identify what's going to work best for you. I see a lot of people in there that, you know, they've already got their entities in place. It's always good to have a review of those, you know, so let's take a look at them. Let's make sure that you have everything in place so there's no questions, uh, you know, moving forward. Jason? It's fun. Come and live it with us. It's fun. <laughs> Absolutely. So talk to your strategist, join. I don't know if Randy's here, but let's jump into the big table. Um, and since Randy's not here, I'll tell uh, that I see right now. Um, I'll tell a little bit about his story. When he joined, he didn't actually want to come. His wife did. He came kicking and screaming, literally, sat in the back corner, ready to leave at, because he didn't want to be there. And then leaned in and uh, there you are tell your story mr randy <laughs> what happened when you joined the table and karen drugged you there karen did drag me there kicking and screaming um so what happened is i thought i was pretty smart and i started a company grew it in four years we were doing over five million in revenue which i think is pretty good and um we were cranking along and I was a sole proprietor, so I'm going to tie all this together. I was a sole proprietor. I didn't know Scott, had no entity set up, and I also didn't know about accounting, and I had my own borrowed copy of TurboTax to do my accounting on. So that's where I was when I got to Laurel. I was saving so much money, and I was buying and flipping real estate. This is 2006. We were just having a ball, making money everywhere. Wife says, we need to go listen to this lady. I'm like, nah. So I go sit in the back of the room, grumpy, grumpy. We leave. Wife hires an accountant out of the community to do the audit on our taxes. Well, she doesn't tell me about all this, really, except she just did it. And I'm the one that got the check in the mail, though. This is a really powerful story, and you really should hear what I'm saying. I literally opened up the check, and I had a check from the federal government of over $70,000 of money that I had paid the government that I had a right to own because I didn't do it right. Yeah, my wife is a genius. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Um, the, the, the fact, though, that it's set, it's sunk. I got it. You know, I may be a slow learner, but when I learn, I learn. So then Laurel was just starting out this new event series called Three Days of Cash. This actually has, is what this used to be. And I just started showing up at all the events, picking her brain, listening to her talk. And then her, her, her person that ran the event said, hey, someone's sick or not here. I need you to MC. I didn't know what the word MC meant. And so, well, okay, sure, whatever you need. 
So I just walked up on stage, introduced her. Luckily, I have a former high school teacher, football coach. I've spent lots of time in front of people, so I wasn't like uncomfortable with it. And I'm like, this is pretty fun. That was about the end of 2007. And for over 10 years straight, I literally went to one of those a month with Laurel. As a matter of fact, a couple of times, I did some of those events without Laurel. <laughs> and so I've been all over the world. I know there's content inside and out. Here, and here's what I can tell you. If you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to get to that millionaire status and you have goals of future foundational, you know, generational wealth, there's no better place to be. I will give this testimonial forever. If you do what you are coached to do, in the manner in which you are coached to do it, you will have success. Now, what, will, what won't happen though, if you do it your way, if you want to be right, if you want to argue, you want to have opinions, and you're not coachable, it'll be very difficult for you. It'll be very, very difficult for you. And that's the, that's the, that's the whole rub around it. If you're coachable, you can get to work. I wasn't that coachable in the beginning. And I'm generally a pretty coachable guy, but I thought I knew what I was doing. And I had a modicum level of success. For those of you that have already had success, you want to start investing. I have many LLCs. I have different corporations. I have different trusts. My company, iFlip, it's the C-Corp. And all of this led me to, no, I'll finish with this, Laurel. All of it led me to this. Since that time, I started another company, sold it. Went to work at a big corporate uh, office in Fusionsoft, was a senior executive on that team, leading all the education training of the entrepreneurs and the internal folks. Exited that. Started iFlip. You see it on my hat. One of the fastest growing software companies in America. Laurel's a shareholder. Uh, Jason's a shareholder. I think Scott might be. We have a lot of shareholders on here. And the idea is the principles that are taught are what I now teach and lead my team to every single day. And I speak at a lot of events. In the world of making money and setting up corporations, this is as good as it gets. It's as good as it gets. So that's my uh, testimonial there for you, Laurel. I'm just happy you still invite me back to hang out. You're not, you're muted, Laurel, I think. I was trying to mute some of our background noise. I said, once you join and you get like, you know, it's not about just me, Randy, Jason, Scott, even though we're cool. It's the community. Can you imagine being with hundreds, if not thousands of people that are in this conversation and you're learning together? Some of you are going to make mistakes. You're going to share your mistakes. Like, and it's not like a berating kind of or an embarrassing thing. Like you're all going to bump, you're all going to fall out, jump out, jump off the cliff, get some bruises, bleed a little bit. And that learning is why we're so significant as a community, not Laurel, not just Randy, not just Jason or just Scott. Collectively, it makes us, it makes this work. And that it's for so many people, like Bob Proctor told me, you talk about, he said, if you want to pick a topic in life, solve problems with money, sex, or God, and you'll have a topic for a lifetime. And he's right. <laughs> um, because nobody wants to talk about money. In many, many cultures, it's still like taboo to talk about money. And, uh, but money makes your entire life work, right? It's not just about having enough. It's about how do you then give back? And a lot of you, you have a give back energy, but you're not financially in a situation to give back because you can't give to yourself. So let's get the right problem solved in the right order and move on. So let's share a quick video about the big table because this is our, this is really our signature program. <clears throat> and uh, the video will tell you about it. And we'll talk about it afterwards. So see if you want to play the video. Hi, this is Laurel. Let me tell you about our big table. It has been going on since 2001, and here's how it began. Is I worked with the Kiyosaki organization, specifically Sharon and Robert and that whole group, and I was the cash flow game girl. I was the master distributor where we put that cash flow game on the map. And in 2000, 2001, I started doing a whole bunch of financial literacy coaching because so many people don't know the basics of P&Ls and balance sheets and real estate and just what you can do to make money, keep money and invest money. So I started coaching one by one by one by one. And so I realized just in the team approach, you know, when Robert put together the advisors, the Rich Dad advisors, that we need an expert team. 
because I can give you all my Rolodex and share and say, hey, you know, Kevin, go meet Susie and Sam, go meet Jack and everybody meet each other, but you don't pick up the phone and nobody got it. So I said, you know what? It's a mastermind, Napoleon Hill style. So in 2001, I told my clients, you gotta get together and we're all gonna get in one room and we're gonna mastermind. We're gonna have one-on-one -on -one coaching. We'll still do some of that. But as a group, a mastermind is a common goal for each other. So you're not only, it's not selfish, it's not about just you and your goals, it's about actually expanding and together a collective Rolodex, a collective community. So you can imagine now for decades, this community has been forming and uh, we're all over the world. We have taught and had uh, processes and programs all over the world except for Antarctica. So if you're wondering if this is a US centric program, it's not. We have, have clients all over the world that have joined in this mission to understand money. I mean, money is in your life every day. Think about it. Like, think about how many choices and decisions you make and you're really uneducated around money. We want to be that place where we can have those conversations together. We can learn together. There's so many, there's not one way to do anything with money. There's a lot of ways, but what's right for you? And unless you have a community where you could have those conversations, I think it's a little risky out there. So join our community and our table. And the reason I call it the big table is when we started with that first group, 2001, and then through 2002, we said, what are we going to call ourselves? We really didn't have a name. It was just Laurel's Coaching. And we said, you know what? We need to call it the big table because I grew up on a farm in Nebraska where, you know, all the adults were at the big table and all the kids were relegated to little card tables or the floor or wherever else. And the truth is that's the same about money. Like, you know, unless someone dies or moves on, you don't really get a seat at the big table. And with money, you got to take your seat. You have to say, you know what, I'm worthy and I deserve to figure out this conversation with money. It's not just, you know, the seven wealthiest families in the world that get to be wealthy. You get to be too. You get to understand about money. You get a place for that conversation in those Rolodexes. It is who you know. And we have a what we call a one degree of separation. It's not six degrees of separation in our world. It's about one degree. We can get a lot of things done and a lot of connections done for you. Um, it is the coolest environment and community. If I would tell you that you're going to join our big table for the community and the people you're going to meet, you'll laugh because that's what most people do. You don't understand the power of a team, but I'll tell you, it's the number one thing once you're in that people join for is each other. And yes, there's a lot of education and the way that it works is you are assigned a one-on-one -on -one coach. You're assigned a masterminds. We have conversations throughout the week about all sorts of topics. I don't just lead them. There's about 28 other financial experts and just from real estate, not only just financial experts, just experts in money. And you can have conversations with them. I help facilitate moving you around to get to know other people, the people that you need to know. If you're in franchise, I'll introduce you to a bunch of other franchise folks. If you're in residential assisted living, I'll introduce you to those folks. So I know the community really well. I'm very intimately involved. You get my cell phone. We talk, we communicate, we share. We go on real estate tours. We go on hemp tours. We've gone on cannabis tours. We've gone to the horse races because we have a, a woman in Kentucky who owns a bunch of horse races. We have done the coolest stuff to teach you about asset classes. We've gone to Broadway plays because a bunch of us on a Broadway play. You name it, we are involved in it. We love the conversation about deal making. You know, really 2001 was way before Shark Tank was even, in, you know, around and we've been doing a lot of that conversation. So join our community. We do have live group sessions. We do them once a quarter. They're typically here in Reno, Nevada, our hometown, right in our backyard. Um, this year we will be taking it to Boise and you never know where we're going to be taking it. It kind of depends where the economy goes, where our people go and what your interests are. So here's how it works. It's like a country club, but it's one time membership. It's for you and your family lifetime. So it's you, your family. If you have parents, cause you're going to receive some legacy, you might have to bring them. Definitely bring your kids. Our charity is the work of our kids. I love teaching parenting to your kids. Um, are your kids and teenagers can have internships within our communities. So my son worked for one of our tax strategists, like working for another real estate folk. We have some Australian teenagers coming over to actually intern in the United States here with some of our real estate folks. Like we're a very, very intimate community. Our, our goal is to help you and your family achieve the legacy and the life that it wants for financial freedom. So join our community, join the big table. Just join the big table, whoever you are out there, join the big table, you'll be glad you did. We didn't really know what it was when we signed the bottom line and paid the charge, and um, it's been well worth it. Yeah, well we've enjoyed it. it. Life and business was good, but I think it's it was a matter of you don't know what you don't know. And so there are a lot of aspects of liability, for instance, that we did not have covered, which yes. you know was brought to our attention. and could save us a lot in the long run and also increasing our business. 
Laurel's definitely made us a lot safer and <laughs> protected us from what, the things that we've learned, which has been amazing. She literally told us, you're going to yeah. join, you're going to join. You need and this, and yeah, we kept it's kind of a no-brainer. And she can see the things in our business and our uh, uh, relationship toward our businesses that would make it just a no-brainer to, to be joining and being protected and expanding through social media and the and team the that she has the quality of professionals who come in to speak it's just that was kind of the closer yeah. in seriousness it was like they're they're access laurel's accessible which is unheard of we've coached with a lot of people and that's unheard of so that was huge connections is huge i think the collaboration with other uh, investors and um uh, you know, money-minded people as far as uh, other members of the big table who are anxious to help each other and, and learn from each other and share. Absolutely. So, <laughs> yes, we would. honestly, the big table is unlike anything we've seen out there. Um, not only are we making connections, but the quality of education is practical, hands-on stuff, which I know there's a lot of a lot of gurus out there who kind of pitch exciting things and you leave and you feel amazing and then you get home Monday it's and you practical. think, what in the world do I do now? You have no idea. So she literally has the steps and, and she personally, as well as the other guys, kind of hold you accountable. Okay, did you guys get that set up, you know, with your, uh, your do you have your life insurance your yet? And, yeah. And so on. I think that uh, another thing is some of the other uh, people we've known try to do it all themselves. Try to be the expert in everything. And, <laughs> and Laurel surrounds herself by experts and she can say, hey, I know enough to know that you need this and here's how you get it and here's the guy that'll do it or a gal that'll do it for you and with you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carson Cooper with Genius Unlocked and we joined the big table to make our first million dollars. And we joined the big table because a couple months ago, we had made our first $100,000 in the first four months of our business, yet we, can't, we couldn't repeat that success. And so we were going up and making a lot of money and then having three months of making no money, making a lot of money and then having four months of not making any money. And so we joined the big table in order to be able to replicate that success. Um, and also we were not incorporated at all. <laughs> so I have a business partner and and it was her sole prop. Um, and Laurel said that I could lose everything um, to her if something was to happen into our business. So I had no stake in it, yet we were supposed to be 50-50 into our business. So we joined the big table in order to be able to replicate our success, um, as well as to protect ourselves and know how to incorporate because it was super overwhelming. The biggest deciding factor of joining the big table was really one, Laurel's confidence in us as a business, um, seeing the potential in us and seeing that we were just a few tweaks away from making a billion dollars. So the fact that we had um, success in the past but didn't know how to replicate it, there's so many amazing people that can support us in the big table and her team. So we were able to um, incorporate within the first month, we were able to get all of our our taxes situated in the first month. We were able to be on Laurel's podcast. We were able to get coached um, in order to figure out what do we need to do to next in order to replicate our success. I would absolutely recommend Laurel on the big table because number one, it's her team. We felt like we were um, doing things alone in the past that we always didn't know the best um, direction. And she has a team of experts to truly help us and support us um, in incorporating in our um, books for our business, um, where we're marketing, where we're spending our money and time. And then also, the biggest thing for us was making a million dollars was wow okay we make this money but then how do we invest that to go to 10 million um 15 million 50 million 100 million and so it's really through the investments also so i would love to recommend the big table not only to make your first million but then where do you invest it it sounds amazing and incredible to be able to invest it into um, the cbd into rental properties um, and there's so much of the community that is um, that can help you grow and so we're excited to meet everybody and be able to make more connections um, I'm Tim and this is Becky Kristovich. Um, we're from uh, Boise, Idaho area and we uh, are contractor developers. <laughs> 
Good laugh. We, 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 we created a, a seven-headed monster that was biting us in the butt. That's what we created. And after we joined the big table, everybody that's on the team uh, helped us really organize our business, get it back in, the, in a good direction to where it should be going. Um, so helped us tame that monster. I would have to say, just knowing that we need to help putting things together properly, and we knew that the, the big table could, could offer that. So every day, Definitely. yep, every day. Anybody's needing to move forward in their business, learn business, every day, yep. Can't go wrong. I think these guys are the real deal, and they're gonna, you know, if you engage and, and perform, uh, you'll get the results you're looking for. All right, all right, all right. So thank you all for that. And uh, I think you know, if you want, we have thousands of testimonials. If you go to integratedwealthsystems.com to the programs area under Big Table, you're going to see a ton. And we're just going to keep adding and adding and adding. Um, let's go to the few slides just to really talk about it. Someone asked in the chat, what does lifetime mean? So lifetime means lifetime, right? So uh, outside of who's going to be the me, uh, we have a nice legacy team being built. A, starting with my son, who's going to be a CPA. When he went to college, you can imagine being my son. He's like, what the hell am I doing here? I mean, he wanted to go play football, but I said, bring back CEO, CPA, like bring back a team and find smart people to build like this next generation of Jason's, of Scott's, of Randy's. And so that's part of what he's doing is building this next army of teams and him being a CPA, forensic CPA. Uh, we'll just take the legacy of a lot of this. So the structure is is got a sound plan for at least another 40, 50 years. So somebody said, what's legacy or lifetime mean? However long you want, right? I think the only piece of the puzzle is, you know, but here's what I'm going to say. Is anybody going to be the me? Uh, probably not, but Randy could do it. Jason could do it. Scott could do it. Any of these guys, uh, any of the uh, like experts have as the knowledge. There's, we all have a little bit different background and experience of deals and backgrounds of projects, but collectively, that's what you're getting is a lifetime of us. We're not going anywhere. And uh, if one of us drops off, you know, the rest of the group's going to be standing. Um, the other thing someone asks is, oh, um, after 30 years of being incorporated. So, you do need somebody with Canada experience of so Vishal, like the guys in Canada. I was married for eight years to a Canadian, had Canadian corporations, trust all of it um, in the middle of the divorce to him. So it's super exciting taking it down. So I've been in, got married in Banff, Canada, been out, super fun. Scott's helping with that. Um, there's not a country that we won't help you figure out. We've been to the most remote, interesting countries. And no, you don't have as much advantage as we have in the United States to be capitalists and uh, you know, the, the republic that we are, but, uh, and they're not democratic, you know, countries in some places. So I say everywhere, but the communist countries can do it. So hence the political argument that we're under, but we're not going there today. Let's talk about the big table. So there are, uh, two sessions a year. Um, they're live in live in person. We just had one in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Over 100 people showed up, plus sponsors, vendors, probably 150 people are in the room. And we're going to be together again, so write it down right now, those of you interested. October 2nd and 3rd, we haven't chosen a location. Uh, we're in the Reno, Tahoe area. I'd like to bring it to Tahoe, but that's multiple flights and a little longer. It's easy to get in and out of Dallas, Texas, and Fort Worth. Uh, it's easy to get out of some places where there's a one there's a one flight option. So we'll let you know. It doesn't matter. That's not, again, if you're making decisions on where you have to fly to, you're you're thinking completely wrong. You're going to fly to wherever this community shows up. We have taught in every continent, but Antarctica. Like I said, with Randy and I, we took this team around the world. So you have two sessions. You have mentoring and laser calls every Tuesday. We have laser or ask oral calls. You will be assigned a coach. I will be immediately with Damon uh, uh, introduced to you. So you will have my cell phone. I'll help you with your sequencing. And then I'll be assigning your coach based on what your biggest needs are. You're going to have access to a lifetime membership, which we just moved all of our curriculum to uh, Customer Hub. So beautiful, uh, very well laid out, 
If you have to make money, here's what you should do. If you have to keep money, here's what you do. If you invest money, here's what you do. If you need a team, here's what you do. So it's all laid out. You have alternative investment education, which is what we're known for, accountability calls, and access to online portals for our websites and things like that. Next page, we're going to review your marketing, and you'll have fast cash, um, family membership, or you can do business membership either way. Um, if there's only a solo, ask your ask your strategist when you talk to them, what's the solo price to come individually? That's different. And then bring your family, bring your teenagers. Uh, we just had a family bring, I mean, Jason's got, you know, six kids. He's brought them all. Uh, we've got families come with five. So you divide, you know, our tuition by uh, seven people for a lifetime. It's worth, you know, uh, different. You can uh, pay 65,000, go walk on coals and break boards and, you know, jump off trees and feel motivated for the day. And you're going to go home without a plan. So I'm not opposed to those because I've done a lot of life skills training, uh, but they're not like life forever planning. So that's what we're going to be doing for you. Next slide. You'll, all of you that go to the table, you have a three-year tax return review. You'll in sequence meet with Scott. You'll meet with uh, Scott, the trust team. You'll meet with Jason. You're going to meet with the funding team. We're just going to take you through the structure and uh, you'll do what you need. Um, so the price, it's uh, 40,000 is where we've been holding the table price. 37.5 if you need payments because this is our event pricing. 35 paid in full. So expires in five days. Talk to your strategist, see if this is right, because this is your highest value. If you buy coaching, it expires within 12 to 18 months. If you buy the big table, you're here for a lifetime and you can always add family later if you need to. So your strategist will help you look at your problem, find a solution and match you. So again, anything from 399 to 35 is where your game is gonna be. So guys, anything else, Randy, Scott, you would say about the big table? The only thing is you, you, you can't just learn by osmosis. You actually have to do, you gotta show up. Um, there is, there's no better path. Uh, if you want generational wealth, you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to make real money, this is where you learn how to do it. Um, it you're not, otherwise, you know, there's a lot of other programs out there. Go walk on some coals. Well, and, and like a lot of programs that say they're similar, similar, you're paying 40, 65, 85,000 and it's for one year. So you'll talk to your strat. You're going to see the value. Hope you see the value now. Um, Steve, will you give a little insight as I introduce Steve? Actually, Jordan, I want to introduce you really quick too. So Jordan, wave your arm down there. Jordan's a part of our team. Just say hello to everybody. She'll be with us throughout the afternoon. Um, Jordan, Chrissy, Terry. Uh, Jordan was on our team for quite a while before. Took a break, went somewhere else for a minute. He's back with us. And uh, we'll be supporting you and helping you with your coaches as you decide uh, to do the coaching programs as well. And she'll be helping you with your businesses. So just wave your left hand, Jordan. Say hello. Welcome back. And uh, Steve, I want to introduce Steve right now. Randy, Scott, thank you for being here. And this kind of thank wraps you. up our why and how sequence yourself to millionaire. Now we're going to switch gears to your business, your cash machine, we call it. Now, for those of you that are fully employed or international, you're going to think, oh my gosh, like starting a company is a big deal. It is a big deal. We're going to make it super simple, super easy. What I'm going to say is you want to do the easy stuff. You don't want to invention. You don't want to like, you know, have to build products and, you know, do all the prototypes of building products. Do something super easy in this business of yours. But no matter what you do, if the minute you decide you're going to be in, like in a company and live corporate life, you need to number one, get incorporated. Talk, we're going to get you talking to Scott. Number two, you need a database. A database is the engine and ads on social media is the fuel. So the engine that's driving your company, like why start a company without a database? Bob Proctor told me that your database is the greatest asset you'll ever have. And whoever monetizes it the most will make the most. And I've made hundreds of millions of dollars in this company, probably a billion. By my lifetime, for sure, it'll be over a billion dollars. So am I a billionaire? No, hundred, like hundred lot. Yes, yeah, so worth a lot. So you can all do this, but I can tell you the database has been gold. So like in the rich dad, poor dad world, I actually commanded my own database. I got hacked. I didn't know what to do. That was my only one. I started on a little spreadsheet, started in a little Rolodex, like a lot of you. And then you move to a spreadsheet, moved to act. 
And so by the time I was done selling, you know, Rich Dad Poor Dad games and books, I had 18,000 people in my database. And then from then it's gone into hundreds of thousands, probably collectively millions. They come and go, which don't get weird about that. But having social followers is one thing. Having a database is another. So Steve, let's, I'm going to introduce Steve. He's uh, uh, been with me for well over a decade, uh, lead manager in our company, leads our marketing uh, team. And uh, he and I, you know, over a year and a half ago now said, if we're going to help people make money, they got to understand a database. So we're going to do it for you because a lot of you don't know how to do it. And if you go out into the open market, it's going to be 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 just to do what we're going to do for $297. It's a base system you have to have to start a company. So with that, Steve, I'm going to uh, introduce you. We're going to talk about rapid marketing systems uh, and head into why we need a database. Before we do that, though, I want to have you handle one thing. So leave it here. That's fine. Uh, some people in the chat has messaged me that they've been, they were able to give reviews everywhere, but on my podcast and Amazon. Are there any tips you have for podcast and Amazon reviews for this audience and how they could easily, uh, more easily get those done? Yep, absolutely. So again, Laurel, thanks for the intro. Uh, those of you that are on that review Laurel page and you're, and you're being asked to go do that review on Amazon or um, iTunes for the podcast, you do have to be logged in and have an account. So if you go to Amazon and you leave a review for any of the books, just know that they're going to hold your review for a period of 24 to 48 hours because you're considered an unverified um, testimonial or review. Or review. Uh, unless you've actually purchased the book and you've uploaded a picture of the book, then those, those, uh, those reviews will get posted immediately. But same thing happens with, with uh, Google. You have to log in and do a Google review. Uh, same thing with your iTunes account to leave on the podcast. You can do that. Um, those of you that are out on the BBB giving us those reviews, appreciate you for doing that. Um, just know that we've opted out of paying for the BBB listing, uh, which is a membership that we just don't want to do anymore. Uh, you can still leave reviews out there and it still is amazing for us. And then uh, anywhere else you go, Facebook, um, you can also go do reviews on our Integrated Wealth Systems uh, business page. Um, just know that you will have to be logged in so that it tracks that the user is a real person, that there's a real account versus just being able to post something and move on with it. So uh, if you're still having issues with that, jump into the chat here and just send me a DM as we progress through the day and we'll be able to help you out. Well, and I just want to mention, like, I'm glad you brought BBB up because everyone thinks that's some government classified amazing thing. It's a pay to play. So if you don't pay, you get asked. So if you look at us, we, we stopped paying. We used to have an A rating. And then we paid a little bit. We had a B rating and a C rating. And then they kept raising the rates. So it's just, it is what it is. So I think a lot of you that aren't educated about business, you pay for the BBB, you pay for Dun & Bradstreet. For Dun & Bradstreet is worth it for a while, but we're going to teach you when and how and how, how to do all that. Um, at a certain point, you're going to stop being extorted. Like if, my, if you're not on scam, my joke about scam is anybody who's successful is on scam. Gary Vaynerchuk's on scam. Tony Robbins is on scam. Obviously, Trump's on scam. Biden's on scam. Zig Ziglar, who's dead, is on scam. So I always say, you know, welcome. Welcome to the scam world because you finally made it. So anyone who's successful are on these what I call bait and switch sites. So part of what we're going to be doing through our years with you is teaching you due diligence. How do you do due diligence? The internet is not accurate. The internet's the bathroom wall. So now you have to sort through all this maze of crap. And, by, and I'm, very, I'm probably the most candid guru about it because I got the good, the bad, and the interesting. You're going to have the good, the bad, and the interesting. And you're going to freak out. And I'm going to give you all sorts of strategies just to stay focused, stay where the money is, and keep on your game. So believe me, I will help you handle, especially you women. Women get attacked more than men on the internet. It's fabulous. I love these women support women initiatives. Yeah, right. Women are horrible to women. Um, they hate when women be successful. So it is what it is. I just, I'm very transparent about it because you're, it's all going to happen to all of you. And uh, I'm, I'm open to talk about anything that you ever find or any situation because I'm like... This is me all this time, by the way. You're going to see me like this. You're going to see me like this at the table. You're going to see me like this. Anywhere you see me, like becoming something different in every environment is a hell of a lot of work. So again, Proctor taught me that. Just be the same person all the time everywhere. I just might have a little more makeup on for you on the camera. Other than that, I'm in ski gear, mountain gear, super casual. 
Um, and I just want to help you and your family and live. So let's get back to you and your business because this is the this is the guts. This is the the engine of your, your entire business is your database. And then from your database, which creates the marketing, which creates leads, like we're generating over 2,000 leads a month, mostly some on ads, but some organic, mostly organic on either YouTube. Like, let's just do a quick poll. How did you hear about me? Which social channel brought you here? Now, so I've been speaking on a few other Zooms and other people. So it could have been from Vernon. I spoke with Vernon. Uh, I spoke with Ken Foster. I spoke, I speak for other people, uh, but not a lot, right? So a referral, Instagram. Here's another fun poll question. How many of you have been stalkers? You've been in my database for like five, eight, 10 years. How long have you been in my database and you still haven't done a dang thing? Who's got the longest standing stalker record? How long have you known me? Two years, five years, 10 years? Since the secret 2006? Okay, nine months, you're so good. New, good, I like that you're all new. A year. All right, we're not seeing a lot of the stalkers, but it's funny, like some people say, oh my gosh, I've known you for 10 years and I'm finally gonna do something. It's like, you lost 10 years of revenue. You lost 10 years of tax strategy. So if you're new, it's fine. Do not think you have to have a duration to know me. So with that, let's go. Let's get your engine to your database. My favorite thing, and Steve, I'll leave it with you on this, but laurel.club, if you go to L-O-R-A-L.club, that is my link. I call it my social media link. I take you, when I am on, well, I don't care what live I'm on, I don't care who Zoom I'm on, I'll say go to laurel.club and grab gifts. What I'm going to give you, two tickets to this event, they're free, and I'm going to give you some of my book, and I'm going to give you some stuff. I give some gifts. And then what are you going to do? You're going to like, like you're, you're in my database. I have you now. And this is what I need for all of you. So see, take it away for $297. Please let us do this. Rapid marketing systems for you. Yep, absolutely. And before we get started, we're actually going to do a one task break. Uh, we're actually going to officially stop the live stream. So if you're out on YouTube, if you're out on LinkedIn, if you're out on Facebook, you want to call our office, get the live link that we're on right now on Zoom. Uh, 775-588-9200. I've been posting in the chats. So call that number to get the live link to come here live with us and spend the rest of the day. But we're going to take a quick five minute break, uh, one task break, go get some water, go grab a snack, go do what you need to do. Uh, simply mute. Uh, you can turn your camera off. Uh, those of you that have been in and out today, you've noticed that every time you exit the room, the chat resets for you. So any type of communication you've had or being able to go back and network has disappeared. So that's why we always recommend you stay here. Simply just unmute uh, your microphone and turn off your camera. Go take a, a one task break and we'll be back in about five minutes. tried and I lied to myself I gave up and then I blamed someone else for not chasing my dreams or facing my fears of failing all by myself I struggled with how to create wealth and I feared what was in my bank account until I